Express Music Magic 89.9. Welcome to the morning show. It's good times. This song's too fast for me. It's too early for That's this. That's what a first song of the hour is supposed to sound like. Especially on a I'm, Thursday where we're like, oh my gosh, it's our Friday. And we're just like, but Let me line up something that I would play if this were a first song. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, welcome to the show, everybody. It is a Thursday morning. I feel kind of naked, right? Naked. Without the others. Oh my gosh, yeah. Like, our Monday first hour before Bam gets here, this is how I feel. And then we have, you know, the crazy two days with Kirill and Alex. And then we got Thursday, which is like... Ugh. Which is a little bit more chill. But but Monday morning, even though Bam isn't here till 7, it I feel kind of alive because we haven't done radio in a couple of days. Ah, so I'm just right. kind of like pumped up. Thursday, we should not leave as chill day because, man, it is like, whoo, it was hard to get up today. And I'm not sure if you guys feel the same way, but... If you had a great night's sleep, I am envious. Thanks for hanging out with us. My name is Mo. That's Sam in studio. Phone number is 8631 if you want to call us, get yourself on the show. Plus, I, I almost felt like I've lost my voice the whole day today just Uh-oh. because we've been talking so much these past uh-huh. couple. And it's been a blast, really, every single day of uh, these past few weeks. But, whew, I think it caught up with me. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, you sound great. So, thank you. Thank goodness. Mm-hmm. Right. I want to say hi to all the people on uh, live streaming with us at playback.tv Playback, slash good times. If you want to do that, please jump in on uh, playback.tv slash good times because it's a great way to interact with everybody else, stream with us. And soon, I will promise you, we will be taking calls from over there as well. Um, we are going to hit another song and we will get the show going till 9 a.m. It's good times. <laughs> Times with Mo, Sam, and Kirill on Magic 89.9. Man, I had the biggest crush on Halsey for years. Like, years. What happened? I don't know. I just feel like she hasn't aged well. You know, it's like that thing in school where you crush on Bayan or you crush on school, like uh, the, like the hard throb of grade school, and then you look them up on Facebook, you're like, oh, what happened? You know, and... Really I think now. that happens most with the face with the uh, Facebook with the um, grade school and high school. You know the the, the crush on Bayan or you know just the, the best looking person in grade school and high school look nothing like they used to when you look them up on Facebook twenty years later. College, I would say college maybe. I think there's some there's some holding power with college because you're getting a lot older. But if you think about your high school crush. Mm-hmm. And your grade school crush, because that's when it really, really get hit by the ugly bus. You look it up and you're like, what the <laughs> oh hell was I gosh. thinking? Oh, my gosh. Wait, I'm trying to I'm look serious. up, like, you know, like, how, how much did she change? Like, what happened? She looks different. She just looks, she, I mean, she looks so different. Hey, listen, Halsey, if you're listening, sorry, love. Sorry. Well, of course okay, she I, is, I, I, obviously. I mean, I did, I'm just... Maybe it's me. Maybe I have changed. Oh, do you mean? Big do you mean like she just she just went through a transformation, like the way she the way she presents herself, the way yeah, she I mean, just uh, I, I like the I, I don't know. There was there was a, I just had the biggest crush on her. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah. it it the way I feel about it is when you're crushing on high school class and all of that stuff. You look them up in Facebook ten years later, twenty years later, and you're just astonished that they look nothing. It just looks nothing like that. And you don't know if it's bad taste. That you had as a younger person, but you couldn't be because everyone else liked her or everyone right. else liked him. What happened? Like, wh- why is it that the grade school and the high school crush look nothing like they used to? Like, uh, like aside from the aging, or is that the big factor? They just don't age as well. Maybe because kids are cute. And, and I'm not talking about this as like a as a as a guy in his 40s looking down at you know kids and go oh like, this is not pre crush conversation. I'm saying when you're 10 and your crush is 10, it's because when you're 10, everybody's cute. Mm. Th- there's and that. the bus comes. <laughs> it's called the ugly bus. <laughs> called the ugly bus, and it runs you right over. I mean, think about it, Sam. Who was your high school crush? Can you think about him? Now? I'm thinking. I'm thinking of okay. Who was my high school crush? Uh, I'm gonna take it way back to like my grade school crush. Okay, okay. If you can, and have you looked them up on IG or Facebook? You know what? I have at all? not. I have not. But like, oh okay, my gosh, so I haven't thought of this. This is in it. So long. We'll take a commercial break. Yeah. I will give you some time, all of you, to look up your high school crush. If you want to go grade school, but I will tell you, you will be disappointed. 
You can oh go back yes. and look at it, and you come back, and it's going to be rough. Uh, I want to say hi to Michelangelo, who's in Chicago. Rhett is in Los Angeles. Uh, Shane mm. in Vancouver. I thought I saw Louis from Dubai here as well. So wherever you are around the world, good morning. Thanks for hanging out with us. You are listening to Good Times here on Magic 89.9 on this Thursday morning at 614. And, of course, if you're in Manila, we love you just a little bit more because you're listening to us while stuck in the most salacious traffic that you will find on this planet. But keep it here till 9. We will try our best to entertain you guys, and we're going to need your calls at 8631-0899 to make that happen. Back after this, don't go away. It's Good Times with Mo, Sam, and Kirill on Magic 89.9. You know, I'm asking for a photo of your childhood crush, teenage crush, and I think uh, throwing it back, Sam probably wants some more, like, throw it away. Um, you did find him, yes. <laughs> no, I didn't, but I almost freaked out because when I did search his name on Facebook, the first picture I saw was, like, as in, like, lo, long, lo, lo, like, you know, I'm like, please don't tell me. No, this can't be. No. I mean, he was older than me, but not this much older. It's, you know, it's, it's not what, him. I don't know if it's our genetics specifically, if it's an Asian thing. So I'm using a lot of AI. If you follow me on Instagram, by the way, it's at DJ Mo Twister. If you, if you uh, follow me on Instagram, you see that there's all these kind of images that I post to promote the radio show right before we start the podcast as well. And when I, um, when I type in like ages, like us or whatever ages, I always have to kind of put 10 years younger than what we really are because the moment I put, oh, show two DJs. I'm using AI, right? So chat oh. GPT, uh, chat GPT four and, you know, Dolly. And I go, hey, uh, create an image of two DJs, you and I, in our early 30s. Because the moment I put our age, it's two people with white hair. <laughs> Just the worst wrinkles. And I'm like, what the hell? Are we really? supposed to do, yeah. do we look like that? Are we supposed to look like that? Oh, wow. I'm like, uh, AI? No, less than by 20 years to make us look like what we look like right now. So either we're aging really well oh my gosh, and your no. low long crush uh, is not, or I don't know what the hell's going on, but, you know, it's, that, maybe it's the age in it. That us. gave me a real boost. Thank you. Yeah, no, it's, you're welcome. Yeah. Um, uh, welcome to the show again, everyone. Let me reintroduce ourselves because it's pretty early. It's 622. That's Sam O in studio. Hello. Myself, my name is Mo. Phone number is 8631 We'll see if Alex comes in. Uh, I did send him a message. There's a chance. Oh. But, you know, your highness comes in a little bit later than usual. Mm -hmm. He gets the BAM treatment around here. So we'll see if he squeezes in. But no K today. No worries. I saw her with uh, Janet Jackson. Speaking of throwback, I saw her with That's Janet nice. Jackson posting IG pictures. Uh, a couple hours ago, so that's a nice little treat. She looks pretty great. Yeah, how old is she now? Like she's in her sixties, no? Uh, she's yeah, she looks super old, but she's doing this great thing in a lot of the photos with Kay, where she's like the furthest girl in the picture. <laughs> so it's like a bunch of all of uh, Kay's friend, and then and then Janet Jackson, very very nice, brilliant. She stands way way back, so you can't see anything. But oh, she looks amazing. I'm looking at the picture now. She looks amazing. Whoa. Yeah, she looks really good. It's really good. So, um, it, so, like I said, 8631-0899 is our phone review. Want to call us. Okay, so today I was at the airport. Which is where and, you work. And it's a very big airport where I, where I work. Yeah. And I had to use the restroom, like, badly. Mm -hmm. and Like number one or number two? Well, I mean, would I, make, would I tell you a story if it were number one? <laughs> Who knows? Could get pretty bad, but okay. <laughs> All right, it's <laughs> All right. just for just to clarify, people, it's number two, number two. Okay, okay. everyone, to clarify, <laughs> ta ito, ta e. okay, just in case, just in case. It wouldn't even make the show if uh, it was if number you, one. If you were wondering, <laughs> would I have even? Okay, and I've said this, like I am. Um, I envy females very much. Like I, I envy you guys. I Hi. I think you're the better breed, the better species, the better. Uh, version of humans by far, by far. <laughs> Girls are better at everything. But where we win, and you've heard me say this, is the ability to use the public restroom, even though it's filthy for men. We can do it easier than you guys. Because you guys got to sit down all the time. We, not really. And But number two, though. Dude, number two in a public? Yeah. I mean, sorry, I know I'm elitist, but number two in public CR 
rough. Okay, rough. Yeah, and you guys have to um, sit also. See, that's what I wanted to ask. Yeah. You all. At 8631-899, if you're online, what is your technique? I mean, because there has to you it can't be a uniform technique with everybody. If you're gonna bare ass a toilet, if you need to use the public toilet. Now, girls, this could be one and two. I mean, yes. usually number two lang. But uh-uh. what is the technique for the public CR? So we're looking for people who have a different way of going about it. Because obviously, no, not a different. Because I don't even know what the standard is. Huh? The standard Are you is it? you. You the standard is you you sit, but like not actually touching the toilet. So this is matrix. You're, you're hovering. Stuff like that for you. And and, and you're good. See again, I know this is a weird kind of question to ask because I really don't ever do it. Like that's not what I do. Huh? I wait what do you to go do? home. Oh. Again, we're guys. This is our. This is where we win. Wait. So you like but, no matter what, you're gonna try and hold it in until you. Oh, get no matter home. what. I'd rather to my sa koche ko, as you guys know the story, oh than God. than go to the public here. <laughs> but let's let's take some calls here. Eight six three one zero eight nine nine. Because I want to know what is the technique. And again, this might be very shallow. Just realize we're guys. We rarely ever have to do this. Good morning. Hi. Hi. This is Makoy. Yeah, ako madalas ako sa public CR na abutan. So yun na yung ako. Bago ako maupo. Ah, uh, shape tissue na lalapagan ko ng tissue yung pinaka bowl. Tapos ensure ko na ano, bibili muna ako ng mineral water para at least may pang-ano ako, panghugas doon. Ah, uh, bidet, yeah. like a makeshift. Yeah, oo, uh-huh. kasi hindi, hindi mo rin alam kung ano uupuan mo eh kahit sabihin mo lang ako wala kang alcohol or what not, diba? so at least tissue and tubig safe na 'yon. You know, maybe that's one of the blessings post COVID is that many of us still carry a hand sanitizer in our satchel. Or yeah. in your bags where maybe you can just kind of douse that entire thing and rub it down. Um, okay, tissue uh, around uh, the toilet. Kasi ako, ano, eh, may, may thing kasi ako na ayoko na tatouch ng put ko yung pinakabul. Uh, lalo na ako public CR. Yeah, so you'll, hey, you'll create a layer with tissue. Yeah, yeah. Uh-uh. But is the see the problem with the the circular shape of many uh, bowls, toilet, toilet seats is that those tissues don't turn, right? They're square shaped. So... I feel like you should just, instead of the whole bowl, you just do kind of your contact points, but real plush. I love how we're getting yeah, super yeah. technical. Yeah, I'm just going to put the t-shirt, the two layers, so at least for you. Yeah, and you have to have different, like, it's a few strips. It's not just one bowl that will cover. Usually, face-to-face tissue yung you use. You know. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks. Have Thanks, a day. Bye. Uh, Bye. I'll just say, if, if, listen, couple of strips. Nope. That's not it for me. I what need more it? than that. I mean, I. It, oh, it's gotta ele- I gotta elevate. A six three one zero eight nine nine. Good morning. Hi. Hello. Hey. Hello. Yes. Um. Same as what the first caller was doing, pero not really in a public public CR, but siguro in a company uh, office so what i do is i get the tissue i wet it and i um, get some hand soap and i scrub the toilet seat oh my gosh then will... <laughs> i Bro. wipe it with tissue or i rinse it with the day then wipe it with the tissue then just to share one time i did that when i was about to enter na the cubicle someone entered before i was I'm uh, going to enter the cubicle. So, bad trip lang. So, you mean you... Can you turn, can, can you, can turn you off your radio? Please? repeat everything he does, please? So, he will basically, like, step for wife the whole thing. He will wet tissue, he'll get soap, he will wash, he will clean the toilet, and, and then he will the use day. it. But then, then wipe it again. Then wipe it again to dry it down. But then you yep. said that you did this one time and then some other person went inside to use it. Tama? Yes, exactly. Oh. <laughs> See, now, wow. so getting, they, they used your work. Okay, all right. Thanks, man. Oh, my okay. gosh. Thanks. Okay, thank Bye. you. Let's uh, read a couple here on uh, playback.tv. By the way, your phone number, again, if you want to jump on the radio, is uh, 8631-899. Uh, Prim says there's flushable, disposable toilet seat covers on Shopee, guys. 11 pesos lang for 10-pack. Uy, not... But may 11? But may isa pang... May sobra pang piso? 10 pieces, <laughs> tapos ilan. That's my beef with this. 
Um, let's see. Jordan says, I don't put tissues, pero kailangan, uh, kailangan ko maligo kaagad pag uwi. That's, uh, that's gross. Um, <laughs> Kevin uh, says, no technique needed for me. Just yeah. wipe it and sit all the way. Sit all, all the ass. way? Oh, all no. Ass. All the way. No. Uh, Wild Don says, am I the only one who can't squat? I put tissue around the bowl. I, I don't think I could squat. Michelangelo says, Asian squat. Asian squat seems to be a very popular answer. In, I think you girls are perfected this. Meaning like you step on the bowl, right? You're not hovering. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I thought it was what you were hovering. I didn't because know stepping on the bowl, that means yung, yung, yung medias mo, yung legs mo. I mean, it, I it's, it's, we're it's still sick city here on this. <laughs> <laughs> no, because sometimes I will go to public bathrooms and there would be a sign that says, please don't, you know, squat on the toilet. As in, there's like an illustration. And people, oh, I disgusting. guess, you know, yeah, are like stepping on the bowl. That's where they're standing yeah, uh, and squatting. Ryan in Melbourne, Australia, listening right now, stepping on the bowl. Yeah. Is what they do. That's freaking gross. I'm out on that. Let's take another one. Eight six three one zero eight nine nine. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Hi. Hi, is this? Yeah, Cedric. Cedric. Hello. Good morning. Cedric, what's so, up? So, sa akin depende sa bathroom. Eh. Meron kasi one time pawing Isabella. So that's a twelve-hour ride. Tapos sobrang hindi na kaya. Mm-hmm. Yung bathroom na nabutan is yung yung bowl lang sa talaga walang ano, walang kahit na ano. So, yeah. there's ayun, no flushing mechanism. Asian squat. Yung... Asian squat again, again to for for clarity purposes, we're talking about stepping on the bowl for the Asian yeah. squat. See, people oh, yung do ganun. this. So, yun tinis ko na lang yun. Kasi parang yero lang yung pinto dun sa. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Let me give the Asian squat a little bit of here. Okay, so you got half, let's say, a portion of the population Asian squat. Mm. Realize though what the hell's going on here for all you others who have sent a message who bear ass at tapos uuwi lang at maligo. Oh! They are walking in the re- CR. There's piss all over the ground on at the bottom of their shoes. Tapos mag Asian squat sila. So may may sapatos, may oh ihe on top of the bowl squatting down and then the next guy is coming in there and his philosophy is okay well just I'm just uupo <laughs> lang ako tapos uuwi lang ako. <laughs> like just all that, all that, right there on your uh, hamstrings. Just all. Oh. <laughs> Pero pag medyo okay naman yung bathroom, sinasawaran ko lang gamit yung bidet. Ah, uh, you will okay. parang uh, wash it down. Ah, uh-uh. uh-uh. right. Gamit ko Thank you. Wash yung bidet mismo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Thanks, Thanks for the call. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Cedric. Jane Bye. says, "Sit like a princess, not like a frog." <laughs> Sit like a princess. <laughs> 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 Woo. Last call, and then we're out of here. Good morning, everybody. Hi. Hi. Morning. Morning. News is. Uh, Gio here. Uh, for me, when I SM, the I can't poop there, so I automatically look for an Ayala Mall. Then for a bidet. <laughs> Automatic may bidet sila. Then may stylist. What's up? <laughs> may stylist to... What do you call this? Just, just the second caller said, the wipe it off and all. That's all. Hello? I, I yeah, yeah, have here. not seen a public bidet yet in my life. So I don't know how I feel about using a public bidet. Just because... I mean, just let's let's talk about the science a little bit and your whole um, gravity thing. The bidet points up, it points down, and when you hit uh, when you hit asshole with bidet water, it falls right on the handle. It falls right over the handle, and then and then the uh, sprout mechanism. Yeah, I thought about that so, as well, but I have no choice. Sir. No, you do have a choice. Just don't use it. <laughs> I, 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 as as much as I love bidets, and you guys know that I'm patron saint of bidet, I still don't think I could do the C, the public CR one because up is up, down is down, things go down. Well, in the one in the US, I I hope so one day here in the Philippines we get that the toilet paper. It fixes a lot of things for me here. Because you're not always <laughs> assured that there will be toilet paper. I mean, yeah. like the. In, Yung patong agad sa, ano, sa toilet bowl, yung ganun. Like a toilet seat cover. Yeah, toilet seat cover, uh, yeah. We don't have that right. here. 11 pesos lang. <laughs> Kaya, uh, yeah. Shopee. 
All yeah, right. thank you. Thank you. thank you. Okay, I've learned nothing. I I've learned something. I am I'm surprised that so many people actually will go through the trouble of cleaning down the bowl. Magsa soap, magwa water, alcohol. And they're all men, huh? Yeah, but I think I would. If if it came down to it, I would probably have to clean the bowl. Because like if I Asian way. squat, I probably fall. If I hover, <laughs> I'll probably fall. And if I didn't clean it. I will likely fall, and then we're just back to we're back to square zero, and 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 we're we're in trouble. So I would probably clean it down. I like the guy who bought the bowl, the uh, the mineral water. I would likely look for a place that sell that sold hand sanitizer. I'm I'm doing the whole thing. And kung naka two shirt, if I had a two shirts on, uh-huh. I would remove the undershirt, um, and then I'd probably use that to oh. really wipe the hell out of it, and then just discard. <laughs> I mean, if you're doing all this stuff, you don't really have to poop that much, is what I no, think. I do. I, do. I, I, I wouldn't even enter. I wouldn't even enter the, the premises of said CR if I didn't have to poop. <laughs> yes, thank you, yeah. Anton. Saint Mohan Gumatai, patron saint of bidet. That's who I am. That's who I am. <laughs> Let's take a break. Oh, Let's take a break. Let's take a break. take a break. When we come back, we have more of the show. It is 6.35 here on Good Times Magic 89.9. Back after this. Good Times with Mo, Sam, and Kirill on Magic 89.9. At 6.42 in the morning here. Don't forget me. You listen to Magic 89.9. Good Times, the morning show. Hello, everybody, wherever you are around the world again. Thanks for hanging out with us, Sam and myself, till 9 a.m. If you are stuck in your car and it is horrible outside, um, you know, we're only, what, what year is it now? 24? <laughs> what year is it now? 2024? Anyway, five years away before that uh, Metro Manila subway is uh, in effect. And I've been reading a lot of articles uh, about it this past week. Someone on Rappler, the Metro Manila subway, fully operational in 2029. Wow. Subway will stretch from Valenzuela to Paranaque with a branch line, of course, in the IA Terminal 3. I don't know exactly how many stops this uh, subway will have, but I think it's, wait, like 17. Let, let me read a couple of them here. They'll be East of Valenzuela Station, Quirino Highway, Tantang Sora, North Ave, Quezon Ave, East Ave, Anona Station, Camp Aguinaldo, Ortigas, Shaw, Kalayaan, PGC, Lawton, Senate, Dep Ed, Naia 3, uh, FTI Station, and Bikutan. That's the 17 stations I think we are going to have oh. in five years' time. Um, and, and, of course, you get excited about this stuff, right, Sam? Wow, yeah. Subway. Yeah. yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Subway. Hmm. Hell yeah. Anything to help us on the roads. And then you remember who we are. Who do you <laughs> like? <mean>? Subway. <laughs> <laughs> We're just talking about. Imagine using the CR oh. and doing it to on a subway CR. Oh ten years gosh! From now. No, like, w- what is your concern? Na parang oh we're not going to be able to maintain I mean, it very well. Everything. I mean, we have we have Olympic sized daga. We have <laughs> massive humidity. Incredible monsoon season. Oh my we are, gosh, the Baha! <gasps> yes! Ah! The Baha with the Daga. Oh, no, no, and, no. <laughs> and then we're, we're not even talking about the inefficiency. Like, we're, I mean, bringing in the fact that we struggle to make things work. I know I'm talking trash about, but you know. Are you excited? Will you just... take it? Are you scared? Are you excited? It's probably, I mean, is this a good thing? Should we embrace it? Are we happy? 8631-899. The subway's coming, baby. In five years' time. 17 stations. Uh, I mean, if Susie were here mm-hmm. on the show, she'd be like, uh, just, she would just like, okay, I'll just follow it on Instagram. But, Sam, I think I think it's you taking it. I I would, yeah, I would like to. You know, I'd like to see what it looks <laughs> like, how it operates. Um... I, I, I'm optimistic. <laughs> but oh. that's just me. <laughs> How cute. 863 is our phone number. Real no question. I'm just going to throw it out there because it's it's a standalone controversial topic. It, 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 it excites, it energizes, it terrifies. Manila Subway. 
2029. How do you feel about it? Hello. We talk about the natural, natural, the calamities, possible earthquakes, people, oh with structural integrity. I mean, woo, it's going to be tough. Um, good morning. Good morning. Hi. Hi, is this? Yeah, this is Eugene. Eugene. Um, Eugene. Yeah, you I'm sound miserable. You are. <laughs> you're you're as scared as Mo is. Yes. Um, yeah. Um, he already mentioned it. Those, those rats, those floods. But think about all the uh, technical difficulties that we've gone through with our current railway system. Imagine people walking on the railway because it got busted in the middle of a trip. How are you going to do that on the subway? That is going to be a big mess. But, but, yeah. but that, has, that hasn't happened in a while, right? The train stopping and then people having to walk. So well, not in a while, but it, it's it's there, there were just so many instances <laughs> that right. it happened, and and that that for me, it is something I wouldn't like doing on a subway. How much more of for the claustrophobic people? You know. Okay. You know, I I think I'm just out on the heat. I just I, I can imagine the intense humidity. Down siguro there. naman siguro naman may AC, right? How? What do you have mean, you ever how? seen a subway station with a- AC? I've not been in one. I mean, uh, no, not the station, but like the cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but while you're underground, you're underground, Sam. Uh, uh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Third underground in summer, where your exhaust doesn't match the, uh, the 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 square meters of the entire thing. And wow, it, it's it's going to be damn. It's going to be hot. Eugene, thank you, thank you for calling. Thanks. Yeah, sure. Thank you, too. Um, okay, so when you have something like this coming in and being built, and obviously it's a major thing, I am thinking there are people, you know, experts who are hired to sort out this stuff, like ventilation. Because, yes, the heat yeah. in yeah. this country, yeah. you know, if we're going to be trapped underground, obviously mm-hmm. not going to be pleasant. I mean, clearly, Sam, look around. I mean, we have experts who have been amazing at everything. I mean, it's just experts. They're experts. They're fantastic. He's being sarcastic. Just... Okay, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Good morning. <laughs> hi. Hi, good Hello. morning. Good morning. Hi, is this? Hi, what's your name? Yeah, this is Chi. Chi, hi. Chi, yeah, what's going so on? I'm a little bit worried about it because mm-hmm. the parang underground um, walkways natin sa Makati mapanghi. So I'm oh, thinking yeah. it's going to be like that too for the subway. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. We about cannot the, even keep like the... I forgot about the ihe. Sorry, oh. ihe. Yeah, yung parang Sorry. Yung pagbaba mo sa baba, amoy, amoy, amoy pawis na. Yeah, nice. so parang yun. Nothing makes you feel more at home. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I love it. Because we could sit here and talk about efficiency, structural, structural, structural uh, integrity, and uh, I forgot about ihe. And, um, <laughs> yeah. No? All right. You're right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 People are going to be selling stuff, right, throughout all of that. And a lot of that is going to be food, street food, just drawing, just drawing all that wildlife that gets attracted to that. I mean, yeah. <laughs> just, I mean, okay, let's, the guy, fine, we're, we're all, we're all kind of, okay, the guy, but just the, just the, the, the armada of Epis and wow, armada, lalim. Everything, yeah, full naval fleet of Epis just just, just taking over. But the ba, like say countries <laughs> like countries like New York, the ba, they're also infamous for like the rats in the city. Oh yeah, the that's what I'm saying. Uh uh-uh. that's what I'm saying. Are they that's, all over the subway? What I know most. I'm sorry. Are they all? Yeah, they're all over this. They're waiting for the train themselves. Oh. They're just standing on the platform, just hanging out there. Okay. Great. I mean, listen, you, it can be great if you make it expensive. If you make it expensive, then, I mean, you can really kind of cut down considerably how disgusting this thing's going to be. What do you mean expensive? But why make it expensive? Make it expensive? Like, if it's expensive to ride. Uh-uh. Yeah, because you're, you're kind of buying less people to ride it. You're pricing them out. Okay. It, it'll, be, it'll be slightly nicer if you did that. I mean, Skyway-esque, but... Imagine the revolt you would have if you build this entire subway, took five years, and then you price everybody out. Plus, rich people don't want to do that anyway. They're riding their cars. Right. So it's going to be readily accessible. But there needs to be a 
campaign on like okay let's take for example the last call we took the concern was about how you know there are a lot of people who just pee in public and I still see this, like, you know, while yeah. you're on the road, but there's just like some random person standing we'll beside the poste. Sign. Sam, here's the brilliant, here's the expert level. We'll put a sign and it'll say something to the, I don't know, like, bawal umihidito. And that usually ter- turns people off. They just they get scared <laughs> off by signs like that. They, they see that sign and they, they obey. No, I think there needs to be like a public campaign so that people are trained. Like, I went to... I, I was in Mega Mall. Um, couple. This is this was happening maybe a couple of weeks ago. They were doing like a public thing. Na you know when you're on the escalator, if you're standing to the right, then you know you just stand there. And then if you're gonna walk up the escalator, you stay on the left. You know. So there's like a parang public education campaign that needs to happen for people to, you know, kind of get with the program. You know. So with I've something. Been seeing signs. Huh? I've been seeing signs that remind people not to move their bodily waste in public on the wall, and it hasn't been followed. What training are you talking about? No, but what I'm saying is like we need to make it make parang create that atmosphere of like, okay, guys, there's a subway that's it being built right now, 2029. This is gonna happen. We need to get our act together because we want to have nice things, but we have to act a certain way to keep the nice thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I think you said you were optimistic. <laughs> I, and I am. This is me. You really because, proved it. Huh? You really proved it. You there. know, yeah, we need to, guys, teamwork makes the dream work. Okay? We need to pitch in. <laughs> <laughs> 8631 through 899. Teamwork makes the dream work. Guys. Said uh, Sam O. How do you feel about this subway coming up in 2029? Let's take another one here. Good morning. Hello. Hello, good morning. Hey, who's this? Hi, who's this? Hello. So it's Hi. Cedric again. Again, okay, Cedric. Yeah. I, I like uh, how we're getting familiar characters now on the show. Yeah. I don't. So, You're allowed one call per day. Okay, that's it. <laughs> I don't want to hear your name twice that. on the show on so, one given day. That's not good. I'm one of the guys na nagpapa-implement ng subway. So for the oh, information of everybody. What do you mean? What do you mean? No, 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 no. Time out, Cedric. What do you mean? Uh, I'm a civil engineer working for that department that <gasps> implements or yung nag Oh my gosh! Okay, 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 okay. And then? So, uh, for the information of everybody, yung plans nung subway was bitted out. So, it's for public information. So, if you're an engineer, you can check it out. Nasa PSDBM website and nasa website nung department nung sin yung nagpapa-implement. Okay. Uh, okay. And... Um, yung consultant for that project is composed of uh, international uh, company, um, international consultants, and the standards actually is international standards. Things you know, so the, it's not the problem of construction, but the problem of implementation in the future. So once we finish the construction magkakaroon ng operator. So, depende na lang sa operator kung maganda yung pagpapa... yung pag-operate niya, basically. So, hindi so, pa decided yon. Hindi pa. So, as someone who's involved in the project... Okay, so you're, you're really... Wait, wait, hold on. She, he, you're just really kind of telling us, guys, don't worry about the construction part of it. It's going to be fine. But... Yeah. I'm out on how you behave. It's kind of like yeah, yeah. the Philippine <laughs> Arena was made by a Korean company, right? I think, if I'm oh, not mistaken, it, yeah, Hanwha, I think is what it was, right? Yeah. So, Philippine Arena, wow, majestic, huge, massive. But it takes five hours to get there. That's our fault. Like, we did our part, uh, said for international standards. Right. You guys screwed it up if you wanted to go to a concert here. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Basically, yeah. Depende sa maintenance kung maganda yung pagkakagawa ng structure pero iniihiyan sa gilid. Diba? Wala pa rin. <laughs> yeah, guys, we need to do our part. So, yep. as someone who's involved in the, you know, the project and whatnot, as an insider, like, what is the, what is the general feel of the people who are involved? Like, are you guys optimistic? Yeah, optimistic man. And we're, we're, 
uh, staying here kasi malala na ngayon transport issue sa Pilipinas. So, uh-huh. we're eager to finish this one. Right. Okay. Not too eager. You know, eager is <laughs> not always good when you're building things that can collapse and uh, fall on people. So, yeah, the not too eager. The going to be good. Cool. International standard. Cedric, thanks. Thank you. Thank you for good the day. work that you do, too. I could see, I, I could see like a Sam O version, like this lead the guy going, guys, <laughs> make the team. Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> and the operational hours lead natin. the guy. 2 a.m. hanggang 4 a.m. <laughs> But we cut off time at 4:30. Kailangan. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, the lead the guy. Oh, gee. Lines are full. Eight six three one zero eight nine nine. Let's take another call here. Good morning. Hi. Hello. Hello. And don't send to Cedric. Because I'm about to plan to yung bawal umiyot dito sa sabay. Guys, we need to. It's digital now. Hey, it's digital. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Morning, hi. It's Rachel. Rachel. Hey, Rachel. Yes. Uh, about the subway thing, I'm actually exi- excited about it. Uh, given the conditions of our roads right now, we really have to improve our public transport, the mass public transport. Yun lang talaga yung sustainable na, na pwede nating gawin siguro para madiklog traffic yeah yeah but this is mass this is mass uh, public transit right it, this this falls under that so um I think that listen the subway is a fine idea and yeah. anything you can to minimize the amount of vehicles that are on the roads that you're talking about Rachel yeah let's do it I don't care if they're flying people drones I don't yeah. care just get yeah, as many vehicles expensive. out of those out of those roads the problem with the subway is not the... Uh, okay, okay, you guys are like talking over each other. Rachel, hey, what's her, that? Yeah, you know, her, her cell phone's cut off. She's probably... Oh, cell phone signal! Good luck with that. <laughs> stuck down there. Sorry about that. Okay, am I heard? Yes. Yeah, so, heard. there's problem then kasi with the subway. If I experienced it in UK, you know, and also in other countries... Yung ano siya, maalikabok. Yeah, maalikabok siya pag hindi maganda yung pagkakamaintain. Even if it's well-maintained in UK, in London, maalikabok pa rin siya. And uh, medyo, di ba, iyo, parang gano'n. May, may ganang feeling. Lalo na pag summer, it's really, really humid. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, pag dito sa Pilipinas, hindi ko alam kung papaano siya. Yun ang siguro yung downside niya. Plus, when it rains, you know, yung, we have problems with the blood. So, uh, we have to do something about it, Tigoro. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so yeah. much, Rachel. Okay, no, nope, thanks. Thanks, Rachel. Have a good day. Bye. Shane says Singapore is the standard for trains. Shane, Singapore is the standard for everything. Mm, airport. Everything. Airport. Everything. And what's good about Singapore, which we can't replicate because we, we're just too big, we're just too overpopulated, but... Is uh, they do it in the same amount of weather we have? Like they're very similar oh, weather. Oh yeah, it gets we, super hot there. I mean, for oh. the people who are worried about the level of humidity and all of that stuff, Singapore is hotter than the Philippines. It's miserable over there, but it doesn't feel like it because they are the the highest of standards for everything. Uh, eight six three one zero eight nine nine is our phone number if you want to give us a call. Good morning. Hi, morning. Hi, you're on the air. Yeah. Hi, Sam. Hi, Mo. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Hey. Yeah, um, I morning. have a parang barometer for this right now that we have. So, sa LRT, uh, LRT line 2, the, basically from uh, Antibolo to Recto, we have a station sa Katipunan who's just, uh, you know, similar to a subway because it's under the ground. Uh, mm-hmm. It's pretty well maintained naman. It's not dusty. It's not, um, it's not that humid. So, uh, and so, uh, you know, I would say uh, medyo konyo station kasi mga atinista tsaka UP kids. Yeah, <laughs> that was my next question. <laughs> yep. So, so wait, what, what stop is this? What stop is uh, this? The, the Katipunan. LRT2 Katipunan station. Okay. okay um, so let, me, let, me, let me read off the 17. Let me read off the 17 stations for the subway again. You tell me which one's going to be the best. Uh, East Valenzuela. Probably not. Kiruna Highway, Tandang Sora, North Ave, Quezon Ave, East Ave, Anonas, 
camp BGC Aguinaldo. Sure. Okay. Oh, BGC? There was a BGC. BGC. Yeah, BGC is going to be one. Ortigas might be solid. Shaw Boulevard, mm, not too confident. Kalayan Avenue, eh. BGC, probably going to be the top one of the group. Lothon, Senate Dep Ed, na EA3 might be good. Uh, FTI would be good. Man. There's going to be maybe three that are what you're talking about. But that, like you said, Konya Station. So. Yeah. Yeah, so but yeah, but with regards to how it's maintained though. So medyo promising naman kasi if that they can do that for just one station. Uh you know, being overly optimistic, hopefully the subway will be treated the same way. So security guards would play a factor. I think the major challenge is going to the actual um platform. So yun yung daan na parang medyo skinita levels. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. Good times, Thanks. guys. Bye. Good times. Bye. So doesn't that prove my point? Like, it really is going to come down to how we act to maintain the cleanliness and the orderliness. That's and every, That's everything. Well, yeah, everything. I suppose. Yeah. But, but, but are we capable of that? A. B. Understand how incredibly overpopulated we are. Yeah, I mean, that's why we have to start now. Nah. Yeah, I, I mean, I know Tokyo is 30 million, and, and we're, we're not in that range. But we are really heavily populated. The country alone is heavily populated. The city is, I mean, it, it's, 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 it's... Bursting at the seams. Yeah, I, I don't yeah. know how to say it. That's so, why. Anyway, uh-uh. uh, we'll, we'll, let me take a couple more, and then we'll, we'll uh, take a break here, because it's hour number two already. Good morning. Hi. Hi guys, good morning. Good morning. What's your name? Uh, Mike. Mike, welcome. Mike, what's yes. Uh, we really do not deserve great things in life. What? We do not deserve great things in life? <laughs> like subway. <laughs> Mike. <laughs> no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that's why we have to change. Let's change that. You know? Yeah, give him the speech about the teamwork making something teamwork else makes work. Teamwork the dream work, guys. Oh, We're going to take a village, okay? We have to be part of said village. No, because uh, I think Filipinos, kasi they are uh, they, very receptive to change. So kapag kami mga ganyang bagay na bago sa kanila, na para bang, oh, pwede namang umihi dati sa mga ganong lugar. Bakit dito bawal? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we have five years. This is happening 2029. There's something about, I think, there's something about our uh, evolution as a population that we can't hold our piss for some reason <laughs> like other countries can. <laughs> Good luck to us, guys. I really do hope na itong subway will, will work for the best of us. Pero how the thing's going with the Filipino people, I don't think so. Oh. <laughs> okay, thanks for the call. <laughs> okay, have a good day. Bye. Bye. Okay, bye bye. Listen, I don't think there's one person in this entire conversation, where, where, wherever you are, around the world, on EDSA, just stuck in the hellacious traffic, and even us, that does not want this to succeed. Yeah. We want this to succeed absolutely wholeheartedly, for sure. But what's fun, outside of it just being radio banter, is. We all know deep down inside, we're going to F this up. No, we're not. We have five years. Launch the campaign like yesterday. And we have to, I think we're just so lax because, like, you know, we'll put up the signs. But, like, you know, at the end of the day, everybody gets away with it. That needs to stop. Okay. I used to do the sound effect. Remember when you or somebody started to talk and then I had this kind of patriotic thing. I got to go find that sound effect. What's that? What, like like some like the um, national anthem? Like. Just, <laughs> we get into these moments. Of, let's go, nation. <sighs> Guys, we can, we can do this. We can do this. <laughs> One last call we get out of here, but our lines are full. We'd love to hear from, you know, more from you guys. Good morning. Hi. Hi. Uh, well, morning, guys. Morning. In, in terms of the, uh, the, the subway and everything, first of all, ang uh, nakakalungkot dyan, di ba medyo delayed na ng todo yung project? Like how many years na ba? Uh, di ba that was done nung... Uh, implemented the time of Duterte, tapos he was making promises before he was, his term would end, it would actually be Oof. accomplished. 
Okay, but here we are. Uh, yeah, we are in uh, due to whatever right of way or whatever corruption shit na naman na nangyari, we're gonna move it five years again. <laughs> um, the problem starts kasi with, with the implementation nga and then, you know, discipline of, of the governing body in itself. Mm. Kasi, take a look at it in the standpoint na yung, yung sinasabi natin, like what the last caller said na medyo titan siya about yung yung the Filipino people as a whole, <coughs> it, it becomes a joke already dahil yung sinasabi, the Filipino people are resilient, ganyan-ganyan. We're, we're putting it, we're always, alam yung inaasa na lang natin ha, resilient silang Filipino dahil we're in an F-up system already na always, parang parang ganun na lang na hindi kaya ng Pinoy yan kasi resilient ang Pinoy. Oh, I think I know what you mean. Parang I think at some point hindi na ako natuwa dun sa how the narrative was like, no, we're resilient. We can weather whatever, oh. you know? We kicked Lagi out the Spaniards. We're Kasi yun ang inaano ng mga politiko. Ay hindi, ano, let's let's parang parang tulad lang yan sa basketball na puso, puso. Kahit nakita mo naman yung talent pool ng tao natin dito, eh, we're not really built for basketball. I mean, let's put it out there na gano'n eh. Pero, what do we do? We spend hundreds of billions on basketball kahit na there are other sports na alam natin mas magsashine ng Filipino kasi, yun nga, we na whitewash tayo na puso, puso, yung gano'n tipo. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. you know, uh, yung isa pa, yung, yung implementation and yung uh, pag-implement lang ng rules eh. Kasi tingnan mo ang Pinoy, pag pinunta sa ibang country, nakakasunod naman. Exactly. So why can't we do it here? Yeah. What? Do that, do that thing. What is it? Was it your the vertical clap? Teamwork makes the dream what is, what work. Come on, guys. Guys, we got this. Okay? Starting today, March, what is it? 14, 2024. Okay? Everybody get on the program. We're okay always a start, pero yung yung sustaining and tum don't tayo kung okay okay all right all right thank you so okay, much right. thanks for the call, for your call. oh all the right. cell phone signal I could I could already just no calls are gonna be made I mean we can't even get it right here and they're just like they're probably the guy's probably standing next to the station if we're gonna I mean just to connect it back to our first topic if we're gonna poop all over this before we even have the thing then voila no one is. You know, no one is... Say it, girl. <laughs> Let us stop pooping on the subway that is not even here yet. Okay? <laughs> we have five years to get our acts together. Let's say if we get it in five years. Obviously, this project has been massively delayed uh, through the years. Well, it's far behind initial schedule. I mean, construction for the subway began in 2019. Um, subway was, was supposed to be uh, fully expected to be operational by 2025. We're already down four years. Um, well, the silver lining to that is then we have more time to get it together. Oh my God! <laughs> Who are you? Stop being so negatron about this. Uh, I thought I was reading here on um, playbook.tv slash good times. Uh, Jen says uh, toxic positivity. <laughs> it's <laughs> not. <laughs> I'm not saying, I'm not like, you know, Delulu saying we're, you know, everything's going to work out. But what I'm saying is, okay, the subway is being built. Maybe it's not going to come on time, but it will at some point. And it sounds good, you know, construction-wise, the structure, apparently international standards. We also have to act international standards to keep it. I get it. Uh. Listen, you're not wrong. I know. I know you're not saying I'm wrong. Your battle cry is correct. It's... What everybody has been, call, we haven't had a person call and go, yeah, we could do this. What everybody is yeah. worried about, most especially this last caller, is we are not capable. We are discipline. We have a discipline problem. As people, as Filipinos, we have a discipline problem. And you don't think that could be fixed? Um, cult, how long does culture take to uh, fix again? There's like a year, right? There's like habit equals this equals that. I mean, it's like... There's an actual year breakdown. Oh, there's a how formula culture, for it. How long it takes to get there. I don't know what the actual breakdown on the other way goes, how to remove culture. Somebody's probably going to give the stat to me as they look it up on Google, or if you know it by heart, please share it. But um, it's probably not five years. And you would have to 
You would have to actually see it first before you change. You go, oh my God, look at this. It's amazing. I got to take care of this. It's beautiful. Yeah. But right. I mean, you can't start now. They actually, I think, visually have to see it. Maybe we can start with like the public peeing. You know, we really need to. Like, if you're caught... I've always been, if I catch you peeing, cut your dick off. Like, that's my <laughs> stand. Because that is vulgar. I mean, nothing, nothing. You can't, all of these... I'm, I'm sure there are people listening to the show who are hearing these callers, even hearing me and going, you guys are the most anti-Pinoy, anti-patriotic, get out of the country. You know, they're, they're like angry at us. No, no, no. I mean, I get it. Because, you know, like, we're, that's we're what we've on our own seen. People. But what I'm saying is... And I've been consistent about this. Cut the dick off. Like, I swear. Like, it, it, remember when Singapore, like, everyone's scared of Singapore that if you did something like like spit or what right on the wall, you're going to get caned? Like, you remember, uh-uh. or that, oh, like that, that narrative was pushed globally because one kid got his ass kicked when he, when he wrote on a car. And they pu- pushed this narrative globally. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And everyone's like, oh, my God. What he just he just he just rode on the car and got his. We need one dick cut, just just. <laughs> and that narrative is like, oh my god, everyone's gonna stop hissing. I mean, if anything is gonna it's get it be done, public. it's probably that public guillotine. You know, just old school Game yes. of Thrones esque. Just oh put that dick out. <laughs> and <laughs> oh. yeah, something super super strict. <laughs> Oh, no, we got to we got to very very strictly implement with dire consequences. For the peeing and the yeah. Come on. Do it. <sighs> okay. I'm good. My mind is clear. I'm positive. Thanks. We'll take a break. When we come back, we have more of the show. Hour number two. Actually, we're running a little late on this break. So it is uh, 7-12. You're listening to Good Times on Magic 89.9. Back to this. Don't go away. It's Good Times with Mo, Sam, and Kirill on Magic 89.9. It's Music Magic 89.9. It's 7-18, our second hour on Good Times. Thanks for being here. Oh, wow. I... I <laughs> I didn't know that song ended. I was kind of about to get kind of pumped up here. I, it was uh, it was off for me, oh. but um, all right, yeah, wasn't ready for that. Hour number two of the show, as uh, Sam said, it's just Sam and I for now. You never know if Alex will pop in and out of the show today, but definitely no. Okay, you know what? Maybe I should have saved that last topic for Monday when Bam is here. But Ooh. there's a lot of things in the news actually that our people are talking about. There's that Chocolate Hills thing. Edge. I don't know really where the conversation is though for us. What's there. the so, what what are the deets? It's just like some resort that freaking built. They built a resort of protected land, and uh, what was that like? Maybe ten years ago, or I don't, I don't know how long it's been, but nine years ago, <gasps> and uh, they've been operating after a kind of cancellation order. But it's it's big news. I just don't really know too much about it. That's yeah, why. Yeah. Uh, Maybe I'll read about it and then we'll kind of discuss it with them on Monday. Eight six three one zero eight nine nine is our phone number if you want to call us, get yourself on the show. Again, I'm uh, Mo. That's Sam in studio. Uh, Sam and I, we are also on a podcast called GTWM the podcast. Invite you guys to check it out, please. We talk about uh, love problems, life issues, questions people may need advice on, and Sam does the whole, you know, <laughs> empowerment thing and. It's fun. Now, I also do this uh, podcast with Alex, my wife Chopper. um, You know, I think Nico's coming back on Sunday, if I'm not mistaken. I'll bug him about it. Dora's there sometimes. We get a variety of people. But what's nice about the calls is it also comes from different countries, different ages, and different ways of life. And one of the things that I have been hearing a lot recently, especially from the younger population of Benoit's and we're talking anywhere between 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. When, when you get these kids calling, and I call them kids still, they're adults, but so far from our age, Sam. Yeah. When these young people call and, for example, they talk about sex, they, they use terminologies that we don't use or we didn't use that are new to me, like this one term called breeding, for example. Breeding, okay. Heard the term breeding before, Sam? I mean, in the, the dictionary the, sense, the way, sure. Yeah, well, well, well the, the kids, they say breeding because it means having unprotected sex. 
Oh, hence you will and, be able and, to breed. Yeah, breed. In, I, I uh, mean, they've taken the literal meaning. Yeah, yeah. But they 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 kind of jazz it up a little bit. Okay. For, for okay. And I'm kind of shocked. I, I, I'm not shocked like Tito shocked or Lolo shocked or <laughs> Tatai shocked. But it's just more. It's a thing. It's like, hey, this is casual. This is an activity. Young people are having sex forever. But there's a conscious effort to that this is a move. Breeding is a move, meaning unprotected, all the way, and then all the way. Okay. Wait, and when I hear it, I'm like, what idiot? Oh, you mean that's e- that, that that's even an option? It's a kink. Yeah, no, it's a kink. It's like, it's, oh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a thing. Oh. It's a kink. Yeah, it's like, hey. Yeah, like what kind of what kind of what kind of sexual stuff are you into? And then a lot of the kids call the show like, "Oh man, we're into breeding." What? And I'm like, Whoa. "Oh, 19, 20, 21. like that." Twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. That really? range. That range. Hmm. And and then again, I, I, am I am I old or am I smart? <laughs> this is stupid. Like I'm taken aback by it, and I don't know again if it's an age thing or wow, you guys are dumb. Now, trust me, Sam, mm-hmm. I'm sure in our youth, we've done our share of the B word, but it wasn't a, it was more like a bad decision at the time, not a, not a, an actual focus. Right. So right. what I want to ask you guys at 86310899 and in the chat room here, by the way, if you're on a playback.tv slash good times, be there. That's where the party's at. That's where a lot of breeding is going on. Um, download the app, get on there, interact with us, live stream us live. Uh, are there any kind of young people things that you recently found out about that has freaked you out? Whether it be a trend, I'm not talking about slang. I'm like things they do, activities they do mm. that you go, oh my God. And then all of a sudden you become your parents. I don't know what it was when we were young. Like, I don't know what it was when we were young that freaked them out. But this is kind of like, it's so dumb. But, okay, so but to kind of bring it back to what you were asking earlier, like, if this, <clears throat> excuse me, if this is an age thing or am I just smart? Because the wisdom comes as you age, right? And, sorry, I, I used the word wisdom very loosely. But, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But... Again, like, listen, we've all, I mean, so many of us have made this mistake, but we've always known it to be a mistake. I don't think there was a big population of us when we were that young going, no, oh, there's, there's protection available, but no, this is actually the point. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, I, 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 I don't know, eight six three one zero eight nine nine. 800 give me a call. You can talk, if you want to talk about reading, that's fine, but I'm really more about... Things that you found out recently that the younger generation does that is freaking you out. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Pare. Hey, Mahoy. Hi. Good morning. Showbiz bro, also the host of one of the longest podcasts, running podcasts in the country called Macho Chismos. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> We're about to celebrate our 10th year anniversary. Hindi pa rin kabisado yung pangalan ng show. Wow, congrats. A- anyway. Going back to the topic, umatanda na rin siguro talaga ako. Have you heard of, uh, have you heard of sleep calling? Sleep calling? Sleep yeah. calling. Uh, that... I'm assuming you FaceTime while you sleep in a young person's LDR? Exactly, pare. Anak ng Tokwa, nakitulog sa akin yung pamangkin ko. Nakita ko, nakabukas yung camera, nakatutok sa kanila. Pinagalitan ko talaga, lalo nung kalukuhan yan. Sinabi mo, tapos pinapagalitan daw kasi siya ng girlfriend niya tuwing hindi sila nag-sleep call. So talagang, hindi ko talaga magets yung punto. Okay lang sana kung makatulog ka, pwede mo nang patayin. Pero ang gusto ng girlfriend, the whole time, nakabukas yung camera. Talagang, hindi ko magets yung point. Well, there's Can we things. find this to be somewhat romantic? R- romantic siguro yung, ano, kasi buong, buong gabi, buong gabi, parang, diba, parang, maki- I I can get the attachment and you know being you know LDR and I kind of get it. I'm so old. I'm thinking about. Huh? Well, first of all, here, here, here's my here's my age problem. Number one, I'm thinking about the battery conservation. 
Why does it ruin your battery? And I'm talking about the blue light effect on your skin and all these other things that old people would think about. But there's got to be... Kasi yung liwanag ng cellphone the whole time kasi kape, so nakaliwanag yung... I don't know if they even see each other kasi patay yung ilaw. That's another thing. I mean, yeah, yeah, but the idea is like, you know, it's like you guys are sleeping next to each other, kunwari. Yun, parang uh, magkatabi sila, natutulog. Yes. Parang ganun. Uh-uh. I-, I could see the phone falling and then you just see the bed sheet. <laughs> oh, hindi. Pre, may cellphone holder. Pre, yung, ano, yung kinakabit sa tabi ng camera. May ganun, ay, sa tabi ng kama. Uh-uh. Nakahawak yung, may ganun. May whole setup yan, pre. <laughs> it's an arm. <laughs> Sleep calling. Yeah, okay. Is, I I don't know. I think I think half the population is gonna find this to be cute. The other half is gonna behave like McCoy is behaving right now. Thanks, McCoy. Thank you, McCoy. Bye-bye. Congrats again. Bye. Congrats on your show. Macho chismosan, macho, everyone. Macho chismosan. <laughs> Celebrating its 10th year, by the way, everybody. 8631-899. The question is, young people, man, stuff that they do. Are we, are we getting old? Or, well, it's shocking. Or stupid. Morning. Hello. Morning. Hello. Hello. Shane from Vancouver hey. says, Ang hirap ng LDR. Don't take this away from us, McCoy. Good morning. <laughs> Hi, hello? you're on the air. Are we? Hello, hello. He was he was talking he earlier. Probably fell asleep while calling. Um, eight six three one zero eight nine nine is our phone number. If you want to get on the show, you can also leave your messages on playback.tv slash good times. Good morning. Hello. Hey. Hi. Uh, this is Ano Andrew. So, pina ko weird yung nakita ko yung live AI ba yun? Live if AI. You're with that in sa TikTok. So I saw my parang pamangkin and I booked to his roommate parking like a dog tapos sabi niya sa akin ah i'm gaining ano eh yung sa tiktok yata yung mga gifts so sa akin to parang stupid din dating eh diba <laughs> I'm sorry what do they do You're so old I don't know what this is Ano <laughs> What do they do again Yung live AI yung sa tiktok yung parang they get, send you a gift oh. yung inexplain niya then they start barking like a dog or they send you, mag, magsasasayaw sila on a TikTok, on, li, on live TikTok. Because parang the one who's watching, yun yung pinapagawa sa kanya in exchange for a gift? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's what it is. I, I mean, uh, CN here says, yeah, it's like if you live stream on TikTok, uh, TikTok pretending to be uh, AI. And then um, Mikey says, parang nag role playing. It's like role playing. Uh. And I guess they, they give you stuff to do it. Oh, that makes me sad. Yeah, TikTok challenges as well. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of stupid. That's see, that's stupid. Um, but I don't know. Again, maybe I'm saying stupid because we're old. Uh, thanks for the call, Bart. Appreciate it. Murph. <laughs> eight six three one zero eight nine nine is our phone number. What are the young people doing? It's just hello. It's like stupid. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Hi, this is a uh, master class and terrible audio. <laughs> Are you on a uh, speakerphone? Hello? Yeah, hello. Okay, I'm all right, ready. speak up just a little bit louder, please. All right, go ahead. Yeah. Um, yung sa akin naman, parang, kasi most of the work ko ngayon, mga Gen Z's na. Gen Z's, hello? yung co-work niya, mga yeah, Gen yeah, Z's, yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah, what do they do that okay, shocks you? Parang, Mapagalitan mo lang ng konti or ma-instahan mo lang ng konti pag may maling ginawa. Nag-aawal din sila agad. Oh, they just disappear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ganon. Nag-disappear na lang sila bigla. So yung schedule ng buong shift namin, ano, nasisira. Kasi actually, I work as a nurse. So parang affected buong duty namin. Lives are on the line. Not a good place. Imagine if a doctor who's sensitive, right? Yeah. They're just there and you're like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, so, when they disappear like that, do they eventually come back to work? And how long does no. it take? Ah, like, well, it's like they quit. Yeah, they don't show up ever. Oh. Even, even the group chat ng, ng unit, hindi sila magsasabi na awal na sila. Wow. Ganon ka rin, Ellen? Yeah. Kaya lalo na kami. This might, this might be the worst trait of the, the Gen Z. Yeah. Is is this? 
Yeah. Also brown sensitive villa. Is that just overly sensitive? And if anything doesn't go like if they, they, I, I just don't feel like they handle adversity right, correctly, easy, and they end up checking out earlier than yeah. they should. Thanks for the call. Thank Have you. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, we're, we're good. But I, I just it's just more like I feel that that's the biggest challenge for this young adult group. Would you agree? I mean, I hear this a lot. I don't know if I've actually experienced it firsthand. Um, but, I mean, obviously, there are people who have experienced it. And so, I guess, yeah, I guess it is what it is. I'm just wondering, like, why? Is it because parang they've been coddled? Yeah, I, I think, or or we, we, we've sheltered. We, <laughs> this is probably terrible to say, but... Because we're becoming more aware of what is offensive and we are becoming less offensive, Mm. everything that doesn't fall in those appropriate parameters of acceptable verbiage and I don't know these words that's coming on, but they, anything that goes past that bubble, they break down because it's so hard for them to see. Here's a really great way to put it. I've said this in, in the past, some rich kids, they are raised by adults, like, but they're the boss. Remember, you remember when I used to say this all the time, like, you may yaya, may driver, all that stuff at a young age. While the ages are, 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 are there's a huge age gap, the child is their boss. Mm-hmm. So what happens when they get older is if you, I don't know, give them an F you or what's this, they lose their minds. Because at a young age, they've been like, I'm a boss, I should be treated this way, blah, blah, blah. And then they, they have a hard time handling certain level of adversity and conflict. Okay. But, but that's... I think it's kind of similar here. Uh, okay, so that's an example of like how, you know, a certain environment will make you like that. It'll make you soft. Or it'll make you a little dululu. But I mean, that's not the kid's fault. That's the parent's fault for raising them like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now it's our fault as society for being so good. So, so like behaving ourselves so much that when something goes wrong, they can't take it. I don't know. You can disagree with me. Again, teamwork makes the dream work. We can change this. It takes a village. No, but am I, do, you, do you agree with me, though, that sometimes maybe in mm. our protecting people's feelings so much? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That when something goes wrong, they don't know how to react. Another example. When I tell people, don't get married with your first boyfriend. Why? Because you don't know really what conflict resolution looks like. Mm. And guess what has a lot of conflict? A mother effing marriage. And if you don't know it and you're not seasoned and you don't have two, three boyfriends in your pocket, you're going to struggle. Right, right. I guess I'm just wondering too, like, I mean, you know, say you were raised by parents like that, you grew up in a household like that, but then once you go out into the world, inevitably, you will encounter people who are not of this mindset. You will, you know, hear, you will hear from a boss, a classmate, a teacher, or whatever. And, I mean, that should round you out a little bit. No, what's happening, again, correct me, what's happening is instead of rounding them out a bit they check out because it's so offensive i need a mental day i need a mental day mm. okay lines are full eight six three one zero eight nine nine. uh the question is the younger generation say your gen z's they do something that's you're like what the, what the hell's going on here <laughs> they've shocked you breeding good morning hi hi morning Good morning, In addition to the caller uh, before me, uh, actually, I also work in the workforce. I'm a doctor. Mm-hmm. Uh, the issue doesn't happen only in nurses, even in doctors. <gasps> it does Young doctor in this generation actually would also do the same. Konting pagalit mo lang, hindi na papasok. So, How do they finish med school? Uh, sa palagay ko personally, this has to do with the 
uh, current state of the social media. Medyo nababago kasi yung expectations and outlook in life ng mga uh, kabataan. Ngayon, yung iba, isip nila, uh, bakit ako nandito sa ospital? Yung ibang mga kapatid ko nung uh, high school, sila uh, doing very well na and everything. Tapos, ang mindset kasi nung iba kapag uh, residente ka sa hospital or a resident physician, parang alipin ka. So, hindi nila na tinitignan yung long-term goal with, which is to be a specialist. So, it's just actually the same. I would love to see a surgeon in the middle of a kidney transplant just go, you know, my, my feelings are hurt by this. Uh, the, I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave. Can somebody take over, please? And when, you, when you reprimand them, what, do you, what, do you, what are you even saying? Wala, wala. They're not there, Sam. They're not there. <laughs> well, meron kasing mga, mga, mga young doctors to you know, hindi nila ganun tinetake into consideration yung gravity ng ginagawa nila. Uh-uh. For example, uh, ay, uh, dito sa patient na to, kung gano'n man ka-minor, magsasabihan mo sila, always kailangan uh, isipin mo na hindi p- pwedeng mag-go overboard ka kung paano mo sila pagsabihan kasi pwedeng bukas hindi na papasok. This does not happen to a particular department. Pero sa nakikita ko kasi na trend ngayon, uh, the, the department or subspecialty does not matter. Mm-hmm. So may it be kahit pediatrics pa yan, kahit general surgery, kahit internal medicine. Wala eh. Uh, sa nakikita namin na trend sa hospital, yung generation talaga ng, uh, ng professionals today. You, you know, you know what's funny is this guy. If like, if you if you feel like you were offended by this guy talking, I know. Soft. I mean, this guy's like, so um, what is, what is Nico's line again? Ang importante at mahalaga. Hey, kung pinagsabihin mo yung doctor, pinlang mo wala. Like you sound like a soap commercial or a baby, like. Uh, you know, uh, uh, well, what's the what's the formula? Like you have that voice, like you're so calm and you're so nurturing and you're so, like this is who I want to get in trouble by, and they still leave. We have a problem. <laughs> so thanks, Doc. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. <sighs> oh yeah, a lot of calls here. Eight six three one zero eight nine nine. Lines are full. Uh, I hope we don't. Yeah, I hope we don't continue the young people are soft, but if, if you want to do that, it's fine. But it's more like something you just learned recently that yeah. the younger generation is doing that kind of shocks you. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Hello? Hello? Hey, guys, good morning. Good morning. Hello? Hey, hey what's up, man? Whoa, is your radio on? Uh, no, radio no, off, no, please. Sorry for that. Oh, thank you. There you go. All right, what's up? Um, yeah, so I think one thing that I really, you know, am surprised is um, during interviews. So I handed like a team of engineers and then during interviews, one thing that I noticed like a trend from Gen Z's is that they ask during interviews like um, about work from home and then they kind of ask how many days of work from home they can do in a week, which I think that's something that is surprising, you know. Hmm. But I mean... Isn't isn't this a thing now? Uh, I mean, so for me, it's a uh, like for us, we work for an engineering like uh, sector, right? Uh-huh. There's a lot of face to face. There's a lot of discussions. Uh, uh, so, so during the pandemic, um, definitely uh, there was no choice. But now, since everyone is like going back to the office, yeah. Um, and, and for us, we really encourage people to be in the office, right? So um, if you see the split of the people who goes back to the office. I think there's a high majority of the older generations are more in the office than the younger ones. I can see, I can like, see that. Can yeah, see that. yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but hold on, let me, let, me, let me ask this. Like, is it bad to ask? Like, you said the way, maybe the wording is, is the problem. You said, <clears throat> young person will say, how many days a week can I work from home? 
can they just rephrase that? Can they just say, is there a work from home option? And it'll be less be <laughs> item Well, I think I mean when you interview candidates, right? I mean you kinda look into the you know, how hungry the person is, yeah, how yeah, good, yeah. Uh, he is. If the first question that he asks is about working from home and then how many days, it's like a red flag. I mean, it's like a flag that you, you kinda keep note of. Right? Like, <laughs> well, first no, question, guys. I mean, not a red flag, fifth. but it's a flag, it's a note, right? And then once the people start working, you kinda look into like oh so how is he as a person and then you'd be like oh maybe that's one criteria that he really wanted and then when things are busy you, f- you kind of feel like you expect him to be in the office but uh, he hasn't been working from home for like let's say uh, two days he'll he will try to hit you know oh I I, didn't, I need to be uh, working from home by like this number of days so it's it's not a I mean for me it's it's subjective to be honest but from an outcome standpoint, you will see that there's really difference. Yeah. Okay. You know, you know. Here's what I would like maybe to see the work from home group, uh, or at least the work from home kind of strategy is seniority based. If you're new, I would like you to pay a little bit of your dues by going into the office, just a little bit, and the option for work from home be given to the senior group who have been at the office for 10, 15, 20 years. Instead of it just being the young people getting this kind of perk, quote unquote, I think they they can pay their dues by taking that subway full of uh, Nagatni. <laughs> so, um, thanks, man. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you. Right, thanks, guys. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry. Stay there. You there? Oh, no. Why? Well, okay, because uh, here's a great comment on uh, playback.tv slash good times. Mm-hmm. Prim says, Here, what about, here, here's old people problem. They think Gen Z asking for higher pay is uh, makapakal. Sorry. What is that? Ma. Kapal na mukha. Sorry, I was trying to read it while it's scrolling. It's kapal mukha. They think that uh, asking for higher pay is rude if you're an older person. What? No. Do you Here's, agree? Wait, wait, wait. Here's old people problem. They think Gen Z asking for higher pay is makapal mukha. So the older generation thinks that Gen Z asking for higher pay is like, for doing that. Arte. Like, what are you crazy? Is that true? Uh, like, like in a job negotiation situation? <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Like, like, or you're you're there for a year, and or you're there for six months, and you demand a raise of some kind because is that bad? Aren't you supposed to do that? Like, isn't that part of the whole, you know, corporate life thing? Is like at some point you kind of you know, assert, hey, boss, like, you know, I think it's time for a raise, you know? Or is it, is it like, do I they do maybe, it a certain way? Maybe businesses should do, maybe businesses should, business should do a better job in the beginning saying, okay, this is what it looks like. This is what the path to raise, to a raise looks like. Just so we don't have to have that conversation six months, you think you're badass. And you're like, oh, yeah, 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 I think I need a 25% increase. It's like, okay, this is what it looks like in year one. This is what it looks like in year two, year three, year four, year five. You get a little bit more if you hit these targets. You get a little bit bonus if you get to your quota. Like, you really be transparent about the money so we don't have to have this stupid Gen Z conversation about your how much money you deserve. I So, so companies eh? don't do that? Yeah, I think people do that all the time. Yeah. But it's really, what, what what Prim's bringing up is, who the hell do you think you are? D here says, asking for higher pay is a bold move. I think it's a little bold. Um. But I think you could, you could, you could get away from that by being more transparent in the beginning about this is what it looks like. This is how you get here. So when you start asking if that's really what you want to do, all I got to go, hey, where, where are you on the ladder? that I gave you six months ago when you first started. Hmm. Easier, maybe. I don't know. I'm not corporate. Um, yeah, that's the one thing last call. eight six three one zero eight nine nine. What's a crazy Gen Z thing that makes you like, oh, what the... F- Good morning. Hi, morning. Good morning. What's your name? Hey. Um, uh, hi, my name is Jewel. Hi, Jewel. And, um, okay, so I work in communication, uh-huh. and I have two things to share. So okay. two things... Starting off with, um, I have leadership members in my team mm-hmm. who, uh, and this is something that uh, that is shocking to me because 
it's only happening with a specific generation, which is, you know, the, the, the Gen Zs. Okay. So I have leadership members in my team, and for some reason, I can't really rely on them to act like leaders. <laughs> what are you? We Why? had a review. What, what are they doing? Of, I, we just had a review of, like, responsibilities, and we've asked some members of the team to sort of, like, um, take on a little bit more because... Um, it's a it's a very lean team, and we need all hands on deck. And they get back to us with specific items, like on their contract. Like this was not part of the job that I signed up for. Uh, Can you please unload this from my plate? Yeah, it is unbelievable. And this is leadership team. And then the second thing is, over the last six months, um, we pretty much lost and had to replace half of the team all Gen Z's, by the way, because we were trying to, like, we were hoping that they would they would have stronger backbones, but unfortunately, a little bit of, you know, pagalita lang ng konte, like what the other guys said, they all up and quit. <laughs> <gasps> wow. Right. And it's all, and, and it, they're all basing it on, you know, I, I can't handle it right now. It's, it's too much for me. And like, what? You haven't even paid your dues. What is going on here? What's with all the demands? So, yeah. I want to see a Gen Z war, like a full-on military conflict. You know, like shooting into... Like, oh, this is way too many bullets. Oh, it's wild. I'll I, come I, back I love, next week. I paid to see uh, that. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. this, um, I wonder how this manifests down the line. 10 years from now, 15 years from now. I want to see where this is at. That if what you guys are saying is true, that, that they're soft, that they're sensitive, that they quit, that they don't have a right. backbone, I wonder what this looks like 10 years, 15 I guess, years from now. I, I actually, the only question I have in my head is like, they're all, they're making all these demands. You're saying that, you know, it's, it's, it's a different world right now and that the corporate industry should, should, should sort of like be adjusting to the new workforce. Mm -hmm. But it's just that, you know, you're, you, you guys are just, you're fresh. You're fresh grads. You're just starting out your careers. If you want us to adjust to you, how about you guys make the effort first and pay your dues before you start making demands? Because that's pretty much how... I, I can't know, believe that's... you're even willing to negotiate with it, though. I can't believe like, those words are coming out of your mouth. Like, I think you're right. I think you're articulating it correctly. Clearly, you are in communications. But why would even you communicate with these little Fs? Just kick them out. <laughs> Hire their dad try. or their mom. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, is there is there like full transparency, you know, as they come into this thing? I mean, they're obviously aware of what is expected of them because they have a whole list and they'll point to it and say like, oh, this is not part of my job description. Oh, for sure. So yes, there's for like sure. full transparency from the beginning. Right. right. And we, we have like um, huddles twice a month on where everything is. Like even on a management level, we try to be as transparent as possible because we, we don't want any questions. We don't want them to feel... Because that's how they are. Like, they feel like if you're withholding information from them, they start talking amongst themselves. I'm like, oh, my God, what is this mentality? Oh, what's but this girl's name? Jules. What was this girl's name? Jules. Jules. I mean, again, I'm not, again, maybe too old or not in this industry or what, but I feel like it is the transparency that screws you. Because you've told me everything I'm supposed to do. This is not part of that. I'm out. It should, it should just be like, hey, you work here. You're going to do a variety of things. There's going to be things asked of you. You have to be able to adapt to that. Adaptability is a very important part of this job, a.k.a. if S doesn't go your way, you're going to have to, Roll in your corporate it. lingo, pivot and do something about it. But like, I give me an itemized checklist of what the job description looks like. I need to be able to set their expectations too, right? I can't just unload stuff on them. Because that's how they are. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, you know, they get overwhelmed. So you, you kind of you kind of have to ease them into it. Right. Okay. Yeah. I, I guess my policy, if I were boss, call me old school, is you have a five-word limit on when you talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Jules. Jules, you sound like <laughs> a wonderful person to work for. Um, Two-sentence limit. <laughs> oh, wow. That's wild. Yeah. Shut the hell up. Get out. That's that's how I do. Thank you okay. for calling. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. Have a good one. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.
No, Mo, you can't do that, says Tanjiro. You need to inform them about their scope of work. Of course you're supposed to know, uh, let them know about their scope of work. What I'm talking about is like, remember, was it, you remember that Atibapa, ATBB? Like, <laughs> that's what's going to, that's what we're working with here. Here's what you do, et cetera. Like yeah. you're going to do other things. If you want to be successful in this world, you're going to have to do other things. You're going to have to go above and beyond, which I don't know if they know what that even means. That's yeah. the truth. It is. No, it is. And and I, I mean, you see, like, on social media pa lang, I've seen, like, you know, a lot of reels that the Gen Zs will, will put together na parang, you know, like in the workplace, like this is a situation, you know, they're being asked to do something. And you're like, no, I quit. And, you know, it's not part of my, like, and like they own up to this. And I see that. What is my point? I'm not sure. No, no, you're, I think you're just saying why they're, you're explaining why they're like that. And why they're still continuing to be like that. Because there's a support group for it. It's like, yeah, okay, we're going to behave this way. And then you're going to get 4,000 likes from a bunch of their nerd friends going, yeah. <laughs> Preach. All that S. So, anyway. Uh, we probably lost a bunch of Gen Z listeners. <laughs> <laughs> Talks like, radio station with these old that. folks who are just on the air. Who gives them a microphone? God, I'm going to go to another radio station. Blah, 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 BS. I, I mean, I guess I'm just wondering, like, how this works out for them. Because I can't imagine it working out well. And so, although I kind of do understand where... But it's like, okay, we maybe had to put up with a lot of stuff that wasn't fair. Or, you know, had to do more than what we thought we were expected to do and all that. Like, fine. But I feel like the you know it swung to the other side like way too far, and so I guess I just kind of want to put a ribbon around this conversation by saying like I don't think that's gonna work out for you guys very well. So we need to kind of compromise here a little bit. Well, we have a very young population, age yeah. wise. Uh-huh. It, I mean, they're, they're they have numbers, they outnumber us, and I think by a, a pretty comfortable margin. So even if they act like buffoons and softies. They are a lot of them. Mm-hmm. Strength in numbers. Yeah, there's a strength in numbers there with these guys. So, boy, my wife is oh. writing a manual. Uh, you know, she gets sometimes she gets all jacked up about the corporate stuff. You know, she's got so like, oh, corporate girl. Like, my goodness, look, look at this. She's like, is she on playback? Five sentences. Is she on playback. I love yeah, playback. it. Hi, Chopper. Like, nonstop talking about like, corporate. Like you can't, you cannot get her to stop about talking I about. Love like, corporate. it. Like, she loves it. She's like addicted to this stuff. Um, it is 7.53 in the morning and we will need a break because we're pretty behind. Mm -hmm. You are listening to Good Times here on Magic 89.9. Back after this, don't go away. It's Good Times with Mo, Sam, and Kirill on Magic 89.9. It's hour number three. Welcome to the show. Whose version is that? 8 a.m. Sorry. Uh, I don't know. I saw it on uh, TikTok. <laughs> Just uh, thought about playing. Just hanging out with my Gen Zers over there, baby. <laughs> uh, 8631 number 899 is our phone number, and we are on playback.tv slash good times, where Kirill is on right now chatting with our listeners. If you're <gasps> going to be there, really? Kay, why not just be here? Kay, you're so cute. Oh, my. She... Her I was thinking about this this morning. We're like, end. hey, you know, yeah, you're here two times a week. And she's like, yeah. And I'm, I, I can almost read her mind like, you guys can ask me to be here three times, you know, if you want. <laughs> and then she's there on the chat room. Man, if you're there, just come here. Oh, my goodness. She is too cute. But, yeah, no, she woke up at six, fell asleep when you talked about poop. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> I mean, we've talked about that every day for two weeks in the morning. That's who we are. And we will continue. And you better not disappear. Um, you know, I think maybe we're giving Gen Z a hard time there. And I apologize. And again, you know, some a lot of people sent me messages. And they're saying, well, it's not like they're listening anyway. Yeah, that's right. That's probably a good point. I mean, I, I, point I do want to believe that not all Gen Zs are like that. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. Again, very <laughs> optimistic of you. There's got to be. I... So, well, how about we balance it out anyway? Okay. Just in case there are, and I, I and I again, I don't, I don't want us cancel. But how about we just kind of throw back to when we were their age? Can we do that? Okay. What about it? 
and maybe even younger. Let's even go younger. And the question I want to ask everyone, just to kind of like laugh a little bit, so we can embarrass ourselves a little bit, be a little self self deprecating too. You got caught by your parents doing something, <laughs> and that's the th- that, that's it. Like that's the topic. When you were younger, you got caught by your parents doing blank, and it humiliated you. Whatever it could be, smoking, could be other things. Eight six three one zero eight nine nine. Let's take a step back to when we were younger. Did your parents catch you doing anything? So it that's a very day. You're kind of like when you see them. Oh God, I hope they don't remember that. <laughs> So it, this isn't something that's, you know, like specific to your generation or anything like that. It's just anything. They just call you doing X, Y, Z. Yeah, I mean, I'm just like, because we're, we're giving a hard time to these kids. Well, hey, we were young once. We did stupid things. And our parents caught us. And we were humiliated. We were blasted on the radio as well. Let's take some calls. 8631-0899. What was the worst thing you got caught by your parents doing? Good morning. Hello. Hello, good morning. Morning. Uh, um, two things. Uh, by the way, my Mike here. Mike. Mike. Hey, Mike. Okay. Um, two things: smoking and must Huh? Smoking and what? <laughs> and um, self indulgement. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Masturbating. Yes. Yeah. Sabay. Like at the <laughs> same <laughs> time. Hindi <laughs> sabay. <laughs> sorry. Whoa! Hindi, Whoa! Sorry. Come on! And then, kasi yun at the same time. So... Oh, two heads. Different instance. Oh, sorry, sorry. God. Yung smoking, um, punishment ko nun as a young kid. Um, second year high school, pinaubo sa akin isang rim. Ng sigarilyo. Oh, that's, oh my see, Gen gosh. Z, this is why you guys suck. Okay? <laughs> This guy got caught smoking, <laughs> and his parents <laughs> made him finish. How much is in a rim? I don't smoke, but it's got to be 20 in a box. So, so probably 200 pieces. Yeah. Wait, Hell yes. Not in one sitting. Wait, in one sitting? In one sitting, no, of course. No, That's what I'm talking no. about. You see, Gen Z, suck it. I'm back to 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 suck it. They killed you by 10 years. <laughs> I love it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mike, 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 Mike hold on. What did they make you do masturbating? When they caught you masturbating, what did they make you do? Um, I love your parents. Oh my God, I love your parents. This is it right here. This is it. This is like, this is it. This is goat parenting right here. Goat, well, goat. Mike, how old are you? I'm 42. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yes. <laughs> Hell yes. Yes. Hey, um, so take that, yes. Gen Z. <laughs> oh my gosh. Morning. Morning. Your parents need a bronze statue outside your house. Wait, lang. Wait, wait. Okay, but yes. did it work though? Um, four CDs way ah. back. <laughs> so wait a minute. Your parents found porn underneath your bed, and they went to your teachers. And what did they do? Did they get mad at them that maybe it was influenced, or they wanted to humiliate you? Yeah, they just want me to be humiliated on my teachers that I have um, any porn on my bed. <laughs> Four CDs. My I'm sorry, goodness. what? So the parents caught caught him and then told the teacher? Is that what happened? Yeah, that's crazy. Huh? That's crazy. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's so nuts. I mean, honestly, like four CDs of porn is nothing. Like that's that's amateur hour, and you, you, you the punishment didn't the punishment didn't it didn't fit the crime. So what did the teacher do about it? Nothing. Um, they they just told my classmate that I have that. Oh my gosh! Like okay, yeah. odd. Okay, no, yeah. I kind of love it, but it's, I, I don't get it, but I love it. <laughs> Thanks. Right. Thank you, Dan. Uh, all right. Bye. Six three one zero eight nine nine is our phone number. You got caught by your parents doing something crazy. How'd they punish you? <laughs> Good morning. Hello. Morning. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, who's this? Hi. Morning. Yes. Um, this was back in grade school. Mm-hmm. I was yeah. well. I said bad words to our helper, so my parents made me two red chilies. <gasps> yes. What did you say? What did you and say? Who did you say it to? I didn't know that milk would. Help. <laughs> right. What did you say, and who did you say it to? 
the helper. I yeah. said not verbatim, uh, I, obviously. I, I, yeah, I I told the the helper that she was tanga. That's all. Yeah, and they were really strict. That's one example, but I have another example which was I think kind of worse. Oh no, I because okay. we thought when you said you said bad words to the help, like I mean, you, I thought maybe you like cussed her out. No, no, no. Know, this like... was like really old school word, and Aww. they were just triggered. <laughs> oh, I love that. And then another yeah. one is uh, when I was in grade school, I didn't want to go to school, mm-hmm. and my dad was. Like, okay, since you don't want to go to school, this is what I'm going to do to you. So he put me in a rice sack. You know how the rice sack? Yeah, yeah it's old school. It's old school. And, yeah. he, and he hung me on the ceiling for like an hour. Oh. So the next day, yeah, I went to school. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and you can get arrested for that, and I love it. <laughs> yeah, but I'm glad they did that, though. So that straightened me up. Yeah, you want to wow. thank him right now? You want to greet him? <laughs> he's, uh, he's out jogging. <laughs> Okay, good. Awesome. Fantastic. Thanks, brother. Thank Appreciate you. Thanks, Thanks, All right, morning. Bye. Imagine not wanting to go to school. And he, he didn't even care why. He's like, you know, oh, there's a bully there. Oh, I don't feel well. Oh, no, no. Get into the sack get, hanging you from the wall. Get so. in the sack. <laughs> no, I changed my mind. No, it's too late. <laughs> and I feel like he walked into the sack. You know, hindi siya yung parang binuhat na nilagay sa sack or whatever. Like, he walked into the sack. By the way, with bigasa. Huh? Uh, like uh-uh. just this is like some kind of uh, five star sack. No, <laughs> there's rice in there. There's this big ass in there, right there. Naked. So classic. <laughs> this is this is so throwback. I love it. Yeah. Just Gen Z is probably losing their brains. Good morning. <laughs> Hi. It's like, it's like they're glitching. Good morning. Hello. Hi. Good morning. Morning. Hi. Who's this? Yeah, this is Miguel. Miguel. Miguel, what's up? Yeah, just like the other caller, I got caught having this uh, pornographic material. Mm. Yeah. Actually, it's a VCD na nasa naiwan sa loob ng CD-ROM ng computer. Uh-uh. Oh. And then, yeah. Lovely. The, the punishment, my mom sent me to our church pastor. Ooh. Where for uh, for what's that thing when you walk in that room and you tell them about your sins? What is that called again? Confession. Tim? Confession. Yeah, confession? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, something like that. But then the pastor only said to me, "Ah, uh, okay, lang yan." Huh? Yeah. What? <laughs> Did you report back to your parents? What you know about how your confession went? No, actually, it was the pastor na lang din na kumausap sa kanila after na parang mm. yun nga na part of growing up something like that. Uh-uh. That was about Pastor Mo Gen Z then. Yeah. Mm, something like that. Younger dude. Cool. Love it. Thanks, bro. Thank Have you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> Your parents caught you doing something crazy. I want. We want the story, but we also want the punishment because the punishment sometimes is funnier than the freaking story. <laughs> Good morning. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi, radio Hello. Off, please. Uh, uh, give me a minute, please. Thank you. Hi, I, oh, is it good? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Hi, what's yeah, your can name? Can you hear me? Yes. Hi. Yeah, we do. Thanks. Hi. Hi, this is John. John. Yeah, hi. Um, so, um, this was way back in high school. Uh, my dad caught me that I had a condom mm. uh, inside inside oh. my wallet at the time. Of course. And then, uh, this time, I was sleeping and my dad just smacked me. <laughs> on my head, uh, and then he uh, he, well, he asked me if um, I had a girlfriend that time, and oh. he asked me if we're doing that stuff already. Mm-hmm. And then the punishment was uh, they made me pray the rosary so until I uh, fell asleep. Oh, like they were watching you? Uh yeah, yeah, they are. So they how did. how long? Did, how many mysteries did you pray? Before you got uh, knocked out. I think that that was uh, the whole uh, mystery of the rosary. <laughs> so, naka-isang isang round ka? I, uh, no, no. All of the mysteries all, of the rosary. All? Oh, wow. Yeah. All. Right, what, is, what, 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 is, what is, I don't even know. What, someone translate. What is a mystery of a rosary? Diba, they, diba there's mga glorious, sorrowful, yeah, yeah. joyful. Glorious, sorrowful, uh-uh. joyful mystery. So, I just finished them all. So that's at least like 50. That is wow. Yeah. Okay, again, I mean, I hate to keep shouting at the Denzi ears, but they would be listening <laughs> to this like melting because it's like you got in trouble for the message that our parents have been telling us to do the whole time. 
wear a condom. Like, you actually had a girlfriend, you had a condom. That's what you're supposed to do. (laughs) Yeah, my my parents were very much old school. And I love how, like, hindi man siya parang kinausap, talagang binatokan na lang. Yeah, yeah, I was sleeping. uh, For the record, I was sleeping that time. At the record show, we were sleeping. Um, Yeah, that's just wild, right? I mean, that's literally what we want you to do. (laughs) And you got in trouble for it. I love it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. So I'm assuming, again, like with the Gen Zs, you know, the disciplining of the Gen Zs, there is no physical. There's no violence. There's no corporal punishment. Voila. Apparently, I mean, this guy got the people's elbow for practicing safe sex. He may not even been having sex. He may have just had it in there just in case. Yeah. As a boy growing up in this generation, sometimes you put one in your wallet as just kind of like a status symbol. You know, you've never even used it. Right, right. You just want to, like, you want to accidentally have it fall out of your pocket. Uh-oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Got a rosary out of it. All mysteries. <laughs> you know what that means. It sounds long. Uh, 8631-0899. You got caught by your parents. And what's the uh, punishment here? Good morning. Morning. Hi, good morning. Hey, who's this? Hey, what's up? Hi, this is Jello. Hi, Jello. Hi, magandang umaga. Good morning, Mo. Uh, hey, hey, yeah. Damn, I'm also... Uh, uh, actually, I have two. Sorry, I'm having a bad cold right now. So, oh, um, first one is um when when I was in college then uh um if you're um I I, I studied in USD by the way. So okay. um when you have your class cards or you have your grades, so yeah. I got a um bagsak that time. So it's my first year in USD that time. Then my my friend uh told me that uh because my mom by the way is a principal. Oh. So okay. in a um in a public school, so I was so I uh, was so ashamed, so afraid that I have a box up because I'm a I'm a uh, son of a principal. Mm. Yeah, yeah, and then my t- yeah, my friend told me that because USC is so near in recto, so I don't know if you don't if you heard about that that you need to modify. Uh, there is an option to modify the grade, and then you make, you make doctor the, the grades uh, uh, in recto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. I I I I make that. To uh, make that to make that two point seventy five instead, uh, yeah. just to make me pasado to show it to my mom. Then I show it to my mom that okay, that's two two point seventy five. Your pasado make uh, ma- galingan mo susunod sa mga ganon. Mm-hmm. And then after a month, without any without uh, any idea, pinapatala pala yung grades <gasps> sa ano sa bahay. So my mom so. My grades that I'm really bugsack and I modify that. <laughs> How did she punish you? What was the punishment? So the punishment that, that she gave me is... 100 groceries. Pinawasan yung, ano, yung allowance ko. So also, pinadapa din ako ng daddy ko. Pinalo ako sa puwet. Kahit yun alaw ko tanda. Yeah, college student. Imagine. Just, just, just imagine how we have listeners from all over the world right now. And let's say maybe they grew up abroad or they haven't been home in a long time. They grew up in a... Just imagine this, what this guy said, okay, for all of you Gen Zers. This is a college student, okay, college. He's likely an adult yeah. at this point. And he still had to bend over and get spanked on his ass. This is a, this is yeah. a grown man, okay? Yeah, yeah. His ass handed to him by his father. God bless the 90s. <laughs> Have a good day, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good day. Thank you, you too. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Someone is asking on playback, like, how? what is the punishment now for Gen Zs anyway? Uh, like, I don't know, dad will block you on IG for a week. <laughs> I'm like, I'm genuinely curious. Ano ba? I'm going to mute your chat group. <laughs> no Wi-Fi though, no Wi-Fi. <laughs> Uh, we got, uh, let's do one more and yeah. then we're going to get out of here. Um, you got caught by your parents. What was the punishment? You fill in those blanks. Good morning. Hey guys, morning. Yeah. Hi. Um, one thing is that I said a bad word at home mm-hmm. and then, uh, what my mom did, she got a pliers and then pull out my tongue for like, I don't know, 
five to ten seconds. I'm sorry, she got Hell what? Yeah. She um, got pliers. You know what pliers oh. are? Oh! Yeah, yeah, she oh got a pliers. <laughs> and then, since now, um, I don't, yeah, uh, we cannot say bad words at home. Even now, I have a, a kid and stuff, right? So, it became like a tradition that, you know, outside, you fully on can say bad words, but at home, it's a sacred place. Wow. How old are you right now? How old are you? How old are you? I'm uh, 39. Mm-hmm. 39. Okay, so yeah, mm-hmm. perfect. And, and then, if you say a bad word right now, as a 39-year-old grown man, if you said a bad word right now in your mom's home, what do you think is going to happen? Uh, she still probably, uh, you know, like, um, let me know that that's not allowed. I don't know whether she's still going to pull out a pliers. But, uh, I would yeah, probably. Okay, let, let let's say, let's say, this is a Gen Z, this is a Gen Z lesson. This is all I'm at. This is why I'm asking. If she pulls out the pliers and says, we're going to do this again, are you, do you oblige? Be like, okay, yes, mommy. You would allow her to do this, yes? Uh, yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> That's Zero hesitation. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> but guys, you know what? Uh, uh, like the other caller who said that he was put into right back. Yeah. I thought that that was just mom, my mom being extreme. Man, <laughs> good to know that there's someone else out there. It was a go-to for a particular generation. Yeah. Yeah. You know the pliers, and then she attached it to a battery and shocked my tongue. Oh, my is, is what I was hoping to think. Those were those days. Have a good day. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, okay, that was abuse, though. I mean, come on. <laughs> the pliers. Oh, no, man. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> no, I mean. <laughs> that was a little rough. <laughs> But I like it because I'm going to take the clip of that call and I'm going to show it to my kids every time they do something wrong. I'm like, look, 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 look. You see that? <laughs> 39 years old. Still willing. In my head, parang ano, th- parang she threatened him lang with a pair of pliers. Probably made it inside his mouth. Oh, I'm sure she pulled the tongue out. Do you think? Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh. Yeah. I don't think she would do it now. No, 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 no. Because there's probably yung kalawang na yung on those pliers, but... That's the only reason. Only reason. Uh-oh. Saying hi to Cubic, who's in uh, Singapore right now on a train. I didn't get a chance to kind of greet all the people all around the world. But if you are looking for a place to stream this, um, playback.tv slash good times is the way to do it. You can also download their app. Um, find us there. Just search good times. By the way, if you're also looking for a recorded version of this, let's say you can't make morning. I don't know. You're in the Middle East right now and it's middle of the night. Or if you're in Europe, uh, Good Times Radio is probably your best search for um, the podcast version of this mm-hmm. radio show. And you can find that on Spotify. It's there. It's on YouTube. I mean, there's a lot of avenues for you guys to consume the show. And uh, we really wish you'd do that. It is 821 on this Thursday morning. Sam and I, till 9 o'clock. So still a little bit of time left for you guys to interact with us. We'll take a break. When we come back, we have more of the show. Don't go away. It's good times with Mo, Sam, and Kirill on Magic 89.9. At 8.27, you are listening to Good Times, the morning show here on Magic 89.9. Sam in studio, myself here. Boy, we're going old school today. Hello. Music's topics are, are kind of old school, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm into it. I like Paramore. I know I know. tomorrow's Friday Madness. I get it. I have nothing else to say after that. I don't care. Just, just <laughs> Let me tell you who's on for Friday Madness. Tomorrow, we have Ricky Flo, 6 to 9, Mick Santillan from 12 noon to 3 in the afternoon, and then Tina Ryan takes over from 3 to 6. So, please join them. Is that 24 hours, though? Friday, Friday Madness? Friday Madness. No? Um, I'm not I would think it is, but then come 9 p.m., we switch to magic mixes. So that's like, you know, DJs spinning to get you ready for like a night out or something like that. You know what I mean? Very good. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh the And then what is uh, Friday Madness? <laughs> I don't even know what year. What, what years of music are we talking about here? Friday Madness is 90s. Oh, wow. Yeah, but there was a there was a little switch because Saturday Slam used to be that, but it's Friday Madness now. And then come Saturday Slam, we take it even more old school to like the '80s and the disco, which Tina loves and mga ganyan. Gosh, I'm so out of touch on what we do at the station. I mean, we're yes, switching things up around too here. So, or, I think. I think. Um, <laughs> Do, do the Koreans say still say that? Do you guys, oh, do you yeah. Still do that? oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! It's still your mabuhay or whatever. Fighting. Fighting. 
Uh, I think the magic is already up on playback, too. So if you want to go ahead and join their room, it's playback.tv slash magic899 would be my guess. So uh, definitely go ahead and do that. I guess let's just go the whole way with the old school theme. I think... um, and this is not really to S on, on, on the Gen Z. It's just because you're easy. To, you're easy to pick on because you're just pusses. So, um, Sam, when you were younger, mm-hmm. high school, mm-hmm. what was your nickname? Was it Sam already or did you have something like you, stupid? Or- no, Sam was actually something. I think it happened maybe like in fifth grade or something like that. So, yes, high school, I was Sam. So, bago mag fifth grade five, what, what was your nickname? My Korean Sang- name My Korean name is Sangmi. So, okay, and that's what they called you. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you you didn't have to suffer through one of those stupid nicknames that your uh, classmates oh. gave you in <laughs> high school. Yeah, but you know, then again, my last name is O, and you know, wala pang wave done. So, I mean, how odd that your last name is O? Like it's an expression. It's two letters. Your whole name I is so weird. I still suffer with my first name Mo. I mean, the way that I get ridiculed for it. Like to this the day, I'm bringing this up. The reason I'm bringing this up is because I'm not sure maybe the new generation has to suffer through this. Or because not only anything. were we physically abused by our parents, as 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 for, you know, proven by our callers about ten minutes ago, we also had to deal with the our nicknames were horrible <laughs> in high school. And we come up with some pretty oh, yeah. good ones, and by good I mean bad. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Like, ang ganda ganda ng given name mo, tapos yung nickname mo, layo. They will screw that up. <laughs> and that's what I want to talk about right now. 86310899. You had the worst nickname in high school. Read the one on playback. Read the one on playback. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yung nickname niya langa kasi minunal daw siya sa mukha. That... Is what I'm talking about, Olaf, who's in Toronto. Hell yes. Oh. Live through this. Oh my gosh. And you young people never understand. 86310899, you call us. You had a horrible nickname in high school, college, whatever. That generation. Good morning. Hi. Hi, good morning. Mike here again. Mike. Sorry. Mike, God damn it. I said one time <laughs> per day. I sorry po. Um, <laughs> next time, Dida. Um, oh. may, may, may dalawa akong nickname. Um, may friends, friends, friends. Itawag sa akin Ilong kasi malaki Ilong ko. Yeah, well, of course. I mean, that's that's a given. Like, there's like, there's at least at any point 50 Ilongs in in high school because that's just our facial Tapos, makeup. Tapos may isa pa rin, may isa pa rin na ano, negro. Kasi medyo... Ano ako, half black. Ano, let me guess. Hindi, <laughs> <laughs> half black kasi ako, kaya gano'n. Medyo am um, uh, black. <laughs> kaya negro tawag sa ako. Ay, negro, alika dito. Ayan. Oh, lang, good morning. Oh, good morning, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, man. 86310899 is our phone number. Give us a call. You're the worst, just the worst nickname in high school. Good morning. Hi. Hey, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Um, in college, I was in a all boys school, mm-hmm. so alam mo na. Um, so we we had not me, but I had a we had a classmate, and he had two nicknames. One was Baboy because he was fat, right? Mm-hmm. And then <laughs> and then the second one is Boy Baho because you know. Um, and then and then we one of our classmates said like, "Don't laugh when you call him Boy Baho, so he gets used to it." That was it. Yeah. <laughs> when, um, it just rolls off the tongue. So this isn't happening in in schools anymore. You think? I don't know. I don't know. I doubt it. I doubt it. Because then you'd see the absent, like the attendance levels just drop. <laughs> Your teachers used to call you that. No. In our day. Oi. Boy, bajo. Say homework, mo. <laughs> no. like normal. Lines are full. 8631 Good morning. Hi. Sa akin, isa lang. Ano yun? Pais. Ha, bakit? Ay. Bakit? <laughs> you tumayag ka ah, sa pencil. Alam you alam tumayag ka sa oh. pencil one time. And then uh, lived on yeah. forever. Oh, you pooped in school. Apat na taon yun. Wow. 
Wait, wait, wait. Anong grade? Anong grade? What, 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 nung tumayay ka sa, 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 sa brief mo, how, how old were you? Elementary pa lang, pero hanggang high school na dala ko. Uh, That's uh, uh, it, dude. That's it. Yeah, no. Wow. Hell yeah. For sure. It was hell. Always. Yeah. Yeah, Thank you. hell yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Thank man. you. Thanks, Tae. <laughs> <laughs> And what's great is like the Koreans. This is Tay. Like this is normal. Yes, yes. My mother <laughs> has a Tay in her name as well. Her mom's name is Tay. Yeah. And this, <laughs> it's not how it's pronounced. Okay. <laughs> no, but imagine, imagine if there was some like his son Tae lived on, right? Like the oh. nickname. Everybody would think it's just like some Korean wave reference. Ngayon, uh-uh. Oh, well, you're Tae. Are you, are you part Korean? No, 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 no. Tae and Tae. And tatay ko Tae. Then ako yung Tae Junior. That's not a uh, part of the K-drama. So. <laughs> 8631-0899. Good morning. Hi. Hello. Hello. Yeah, Jay. Uh, this is Jay. Hi, Jay. So, Jay. I'm not sure if um, matutuwa pa ako parang social pa yung tawag sa akin before. Um, my nickname was Fetus, like an unborn child. A fetus. Fetus. Yeah. Fetus. Why? 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 Yeah, because I'm so kind before, so, parang so develop. Yeah. Because you were so thin. So small that you were fetus. Small. Yeah, kind of like that. Wow. Man, that wow. sucks. I mean, there's so many things you could be called for being short. Unborn know, is right? terrible. <laughs> Kids were so brutal back in the day. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, jeez. I almost feel like this topic is just an excuse for people to say bad words on air. Someone was saying na parang, ano, it's like, it's like therapy. It's where, we, where, you, where you dump all your trauma on the show. Which I think, it's a good um, channel. <laughs> saying I had a, a doctor of mine. Love this guy. Dr. Aquahili who's uh, tuned in right now. I appreciate you, sir. And he wants to say the hi to ENT? you, Sam. The ENT? The ENT. Yes. Oh of my course. gosh. Hi, Doc. Hello, hello. Like the best ENT in the nation. Yeah. Speaking of docs, I also want to say hi to my derma, Doc Candy Noche Apasible, who is over at Cardinal Santos. If you need to address like some skin situation, please go to her. She's awesome. Board certified. Yeah, if your nickname is Nana, legit. go to her <laughs> so she can fix that. So you don't have to deal with that ever again. Oh, okay, Nana, puta ka dun sa derma ni Sam O. <laughs> oh. Calling all nanas, call the show. I bet you we have lines are full of oh, like, oh, 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 nana, oh, nana. <laughs> oh. Here's one that's so offensive, but hey, man, we just got to run with the times. What? Uh, this guy on um, playback.tv slash good times says, my nickname was Bombay. Oh. Not because I was Indian, but because me putok ako. <laughs> that is... That's fresh. So this is all like people from our generation, right? This can only live in that generation. Right? Uh-uh. Yeah. Just well, checking. What is it? Alvin in New Zealand. High school classmates called me puto. Dahil parang sunog na puto daw. Huh. That's a very specific is, look. Yeah. I mean, like, what, what, what? Is that part of your face? I'm thinking puto is, is white. The puto is. I, I, don't, I don't even know what that smells like. I feel like it's it would still smell good. Like toasty puto. Oh, no. Mm. <laughs> Give me some Nutella, baby. Yeah. <laughs> good morning. Answer full. Hello. Your worst nickname in high school. Hi. Hi. Morning. Yamo. Sorry? Yamo. Your name's Yamo? Yes, yes. Okay. Um... Uh, they called me before in elementary, Triangulo. Your nickname was Triangulo. Why? Yeah, Triangulo. Because yung butas ng ilong ko, like Triangulo. <laughs> that actually might be desirable. <laughs> oh, okay. That, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Oh, that's 
Sitten siinä ekroili kädit. Let's go hang out. Oh. Oh. That is so good. Um, lines continue to be full. 8631-0899 is our phone number. Give us a call. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi, who's this? Uh, man boobs. <laughs> I, was, I was fat, really fat. Siguro. Siguro. Tapos bukod pa doon, magsuot daw ako ng sports bra. Oy, sports bra. Oh my God. Hindi na pwede sa ngayon yun. I can't talk. No offense, pero sa mas malaki yung akin kasi sa'yo noong araw. You know what I love no, about this call? Let me tell you what I love about this call. Did not need to intro. Didn't ask him his name. 8631-0899. Next call, hello. Man boobs. <laughs> Listen, uh, okay, okay, time out, time out, time out. Time out. Let's, just, uh, let's, 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 let's recalibrate. We're not saying that we lived at a better time. We didn't live in a better time, okay? We didn't, right? I mean, let's be honest. No internet. Oh, in that sense. Okay, uh, your nickname was, uh, what was it, man boobs? Your parents put you in sacks of rice or made you... Sp- Smoke twin two hundred cigarettes. Crazy. That's crazy. It's not like that was a better time. Uh, you guys have it better than us. I'll give you that. <laughs> With your Tinder and your whatever, technologies. But we're just reminiscing. <laughs> Someone on the Facebook chat says I had a friend, we used to call him Onse. Like 11. 11 fingers? Kasi may sipun na tumutulo from both nostrils palagi. <laughs> I want to oh say this God. one, Jeffrey. I, I got to say it. I have to say it. Why? I just can't. I have to say it. Propo. Yung tawag sa kanya, Chupa. Kasi yung yung name yung name niya is BJ. <laughs> already BJ. <sighs> they still had to take it an extra step. Oh. Love it. 8631 is our phone number. You had the worst nickname in high school. Good morning. Hi. Hello, good morning. Morning. Hey, what's yeah. up? Can you, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. My name is XP. Yeah. What? Yeah. Uh, promise you won't laugh, guys? No, I well, can't. I mean, why, why would I promise that? Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, way back uh, during elementary, they call me uh, Puetus. 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 As in Puet. From, yeah. the, from the root word Puet. <laughs> Clearly. Oh. Root word. Uh, they were actually trying diba, to find diba, the etymology of Puet. Remember, nung, nung elementary, uso yung hubaran ng short. Uh, yeah. So, by hubarin yung short mo, tapos nakita yung Puet ko. So, they call me Puetus the whole elementary. Mm. <laughs> That's another move that has been phased out is the uh, pulling down of some person's pants. Oh my gosh, and yeah. And leaving yeah, sure. them butt uh-huh. ass. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, Thank you. Time kasi nung nagpuna, nalimut ako magsuot ng belt. Oh yeah, yeah. No, that, that's it. That's it. It's yeah, like okay. they don't get in trouble. You were stupid for not wearing a belt. It's your fault. Puetos. <laughs> I have a friend who used to, uh, by the way, uh, Kilu Ragi in Kuala Lumpur, who's uh, tuned in. I have a friend we called him Soen because his uh, surname was Panti. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Soen! I can't. I There's another one here on Skyrus. I can't say that one. Much. I mean, I already pushed it with Chupa. I cannot do that one. I cannot do that one. What? On playback? It's so bad. I can't. I, there are limits, Sam, to this. You might not even know what that means. 
Which one? I'm sorry. I... Yung mahilig sa basketball, so Kevin Bo... <laughs> mahilig sa basketball, okay. Right there, right there. I can't, I can't say the word. I can't say it. There, there are limits oh. to what we can say here, Sam. Oh my gosh. Wait. <laughs> I can't even find it. There's... Uh, don't worry. Guys, don't worry. I super... Worry. I love how there's everyone is so... Calls. Yeah, and active uh, there, on there, Playback. There, there's so many... There's so much... There's so much here on uh, Playback.tv slash yeah. Good Times. I, I don't even... Oh. There's so many nicknames. Oh, sorry. Maybe we'll just, yeah, I'll, I'll read as many as I can, but some of this stuff is just, you can't say it on the radio. Good morning. Hi, morning. And that was a proper noun for them for like 10 years. Really? Hello. Good morning. Hi, Magic. hi. Yes, hi. What's your name? Yes, uh, Joms. Joms. Yes. What was your name? <laughs> uh, remembering uh, elementary days. Uh, yung, yung tropa ng dad ko, yeah. meron silang uh, kanya-kanyang names. Mm. Uh, uh, merong isa na, they called him Totoy Baho. <laughs> The other one is Totoy Buni. Mm, something like that. Everyone was Totoy something. Well, yeah. I mean, that's that's a comp- that's not our generation though. We're now we're going way, way right. Yeah, like that's all that. Way, so way it's almost back. like they, yeah, yeah. Their nicknames were like titles, and um, yes, yes. yeah, no, that's that's a that's a completely different generation that we can't relate <sighs> to. But 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 I know why they say it, Totoy Bajo, because clearly, maybe oh, uh, maybe likely. How Bad about breath. that? Have Bad a good breath. day. Thanks. All right. Thank all right. you. Thank you. Thank you. One last call, and I think we're good for this conversation. Good morning. Hi, morning. Oh. oh Radio off, online. please. Sorry. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, no Louis here. Louis. May classmate ako ng high school. Um, tawag namin sa kanya, 6263. 6263. Oh, no, because he had polio? Yes. <laughs> no! <laughs> It's supposed to be 5254, but okay, fine. Hindi kasi matangkad talaga siya. Hindi lang siya pwede mag varsity kasi nga may polio, 6263. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 5254, 6263. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tapos meron pa kami isa, yung boses, ano, boses private part ng girl. Kaya tawag sa namin sa kanya is... Oh, whoa. Yeah, yeah, every day. Bye. Yeah, yeah, get up. Okay, all right. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye, morning. That sounds like Mike. That sounds like caller Mike, who's now, because I, I, I told him about the rule, and he calls out and changes with a different name. Yeah, 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 yeah. I confuse, like, Mike and Cedric. But they sound similar in my head. But anyway, a repeat caller, for sure. Oh, that's so bad. That one's rough. Yeah. You, you get, <laughs> just, oh. just imagine trying to pull that one off these days. Oh my gosh, you'll be canceled everywhere. Yes, Chess said I was called airport because my forehead was big. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of higher end though. <laughs> um, so anyway, we got to go. Yeah. It is uh, 847. We'll take a break. When we come back, we have more of the show. You are listening to Good Times here Magic 89.9. Back after this, don't go away. It's good Times with Mo, Sam, and Kirill on Magic 89.9. There's Salmi with uh, XOXO. Man, she's so beautiful. Someone's asking what Salmi is. Know. Oh, that's XOXO by Salmi. Oh, there I you think, go. again, most beautiful Korean in the world. I know I said I'm, a, I'm about that Han Sohee life. Mm-hmm. I am about that Han Sohee life. You can be of, the, of so both lives. Well, I mean, there's, there's got to be a ranking at some point, and, and she's number one, Han Sohee two, and then mm-hmm. it kind of just, from there it gets a little kind of mushy. I mean, obviously, there's the, the the black pink girls are there and whatnot, but Somi, I think, is the most beautiful. But she's also, like... Exist. But she's only half Korean, diba? What is she half... Oh, why, gosh. Why, why, why do you have to hate? I'm not hating. I'm just, I'm just stating a fact. Yeah, and? Uh-uh. And then, wala lang. A gatekeep. You, you, this is going to cause friction. Why are you, why are you overreacting? <laughs> I agree. Like She's gorgeous. I said that on no, but, but listen, Hansi Ho though, uh, Hanso, Hanso He is Aww. so pretty, so pretty. And She's, I know you like her as well. I do. So I do. Yeah. We can agree there. Yeah, for sure. All right. Mm. Um, 
Time for us to head out here. Thanks for hanging out with us, everybody. We appreciate it. It was just the two of us, but we still had a good time with you guys. Uh, Next time you'll hear from us is on Monday uh, with with Bam, but that's on the radio show. Podcast still there. Uh, We have a GTWM episode, I believe, Saturday morning with uh, Chopper and Alex. And then let me confirm on our Sunday night if it's, in fact, going to be Sam and Nico uh, back for a nice little old school BSE. Nice. But they uh, do expect some podcast episodes episodes this coming weekend. And by the way, if you want to get on the podcast, you have a question, you want to talk about something, please, by all means, send me a DM on Instagram. It's probably the best way to go about it. And uh, tell me where you are, wherever you are around the world, and we'll get you on and ask your questions. Uh, Sam, anything for you? Ooh, yes. Okay, so there is an event happening on April 20. It's called the Second National Peace Convention. I'm hosting this because I am a publicity ambassador for an international peace organization called HWPL Philippines. And, like, everyone is invited. You know, it sounds very parang high level, whatever, super serious. But, I mean, it's something that we can all work on together. So if you guys could look up HWPL Philippines on Facebook. Yes! Teamwork makes the dream work. You can register for the event and it's absolutely free. So I'd love to see you there. Yeah. And again, don't forget, we are on playback.tv slash good times. Magic 89.9. Also for the other shows, it's slash magic 899. Uh, it's a great way to interact with us via chat, uh, stream wherever you are around the world. Um, just look for good times there on playback.tv. Hit join room. It's kind of the equivalent of subscribe. And I just want to remind everyone that Both good times, the podcast and the radio, all consolidated into one channel, I guess, if we can say that word. Mm. So that's why I I, I love it so much is because you'll get notifications when we have a show. You'll get notifications when we're starting a podcast. Just a great way to get a bit more organized. And, you know, it's there's an app. So your cell phone will say, hey, look, GTW on the podcast about to start instead of you having to kind of accidentally come across it on my uh, Instagram. So and we still always cap our uh, viewers to 100 people is the the most that can watch the show. Now we don't even put a cap. So as many as you guys want to be, please do hang out with us uh, when we do that and have a great upcoming weekend. All right. We'll see you Monday. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. It's good times with Mo, Sam and Kirill on Magic 89.9.